there we are. Hey everyone, we're live. You can see us, you can hear us. Um, how's it going? Uh, we're here to play some stuff and things. Uh, what is it? We've got, uh, what? Uh, crap, I can't say that word. Uh, hey, we're the Defenders of Cobalt. We're here to play Dungeon Crawl Classics. We're rocking out the music of the Spheres as Chaos. This is DCC 100. Special sneak peek, because it's not due out until later this year. Um, yeah, we think we're going to finish this up tonight. We'll see. It can always go south. Uh, but let's, uh, yeah, let's go through and do some introductions and stuff. Uh, so why don't you tell me who you are, plug anything you want to plug, and tell me about your character for the night. We're going to go in order of the overlay, uh, so Bert gets to start us off. Sure. So I'm Bert. I am the uh, host and primary GM of a podcast called Of Steam, Steel, and Murder, found at bluemagic.com, B-L-U-M-A-G-I-K, and a brand new Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash steamstealmurder. I'm playing an elf. He's he's an elf. There you go. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name. Uh, Morneth. <laughs> Morneth, that's right. Morneth the elf. Yeah. There you go. All right. Moving down the row, we got Christopher. Hello, I am Christopher from All the RPGs and Two Old Guys Games. All the RPGs on Twitter, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, I'll just move on to I am playing Oakenfen at Quiverborn and Elvin Artisan um, and dangerous sort of character. Actually, he's kind of pretty smart. Uh, he helped figure out some stuff. And then he took a session off and he's completely forgotten what was going on in the game. True, true. <laughs> there we go. But Dan filled in for me and didn't die, so something went wrong. Yeah, I didn't do my job right. Uh, <laughs> then uh, next on the list, we got Dan. Yeah, um, uh, I'm playing Nereon tonight, and apparently he was just off screwing off in a corner somewhere for the whole dungeon. Yep. Uh, and decided to show up for you know the fun part where he was useful as a cleric, and then when we left there, he's like, "Well, I'm done, I guess." Uh, there you go. Now I'm back again. So there you are even more confused than before congrats you have a face that only an elven mother could love and <laughs> apparently you have several <laughs> elven mothers now <laughs> perhaps perhaps yeah. so the silver lining is there's another chance for me to die tonight there is. oh yes oh, yeah have see what i do have a longbow <laughs> there you go there you go you know that you know team kill is the best kill right <laughs> yeah don't let anyone else get the points. Yeah, you get those points for yourself. All right. Stack that Dan kill counter. Yeah, we do. Swing it over to the other side. Jake. I'm Jake. I'm with the Defenders of Cobalt as well. And I will be playing a, uh, a former rice farmer turned uh, thief slash assassin, Waylon Bade. I steal things, which has become actually pretty handy mm -hmm. as time has gone by. There you go. All right. Next on our list is Jeremy. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm an adopted Cobalt. I also do a podcast where we talk about comics called the Plutecast, P-L-E-W-D. And I'm going to be playing a mean old dwarf named Forbody, who sometimes will chop your buddy's blood into your own eyes before he hacks at you. There you go. There you go. And last but not least is Tyler. You're muted. Can't hear a word you're saying. Still he was muted, cursing Tyler. you. I muted myself in uh, Zoom on accident. Ah. Hi, everybody. I'm Tyler. I know the truth. I'm last for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a defender of Cobalt, and that's it. Who are you playing? Oh, Father <laughs> Leopold. He's a cleric. <clears throat> that's hilarious. All right. So, a uh, little recap. I swear to God, I've done this before. Yeah, uh, Maybe. A little recap, you all ended up getting, you know, uh, lured into this dungeon through intrigue and notes and letters and stuff. Uh, and you found out that you're in this giant rotating dungeon. You have this special, special little disc with an outer uh, ring and an inner circle thing, and you can rotate it, and it rotates the dungeon. Um, this dungeon is a tool to refine chaos into physical form so that people in this the the theophages that's built this dungeon can use it to kill all the gods and rule the world as the new gods or you know whatever they got so yeah they're refining chaos um and yeah you're trying to figure out how to stop it 
Um, you've gone through and you've managed to stop the flow of the elemental plane of water into it, and you stopped the flow of chaos, you've stopped the flow from the elemental plane of earth, and you are left with one little elemental area left, and that is fire. So your goal for tonight is to shut off the fire faucet and uh, save the well, world, I guess. Well, we, we've, we've, we stopped it from possibly continuing. If I remember right, the issue is that there's already stuff that has been spawned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so yeah. really, if we can just stop that, we're done. That's true. I mean, yeah, you no more chaos can come in. You've stopped mm -hmm. the chaos, right? So, yeah, that's true. There's something down below the center area of this dungeon forming in the maelstrom. Yeah, if you can destroy that, you're also good. Just chuck me at it. Yeah, it is still pulling fire in from the elemental plane of fire. So maybe if we stop that we'll uh power it down a bit well uh, i think the, the the problem though is that what's already existing will continue to exist mm -hmm. we've already shut it down enough where no new things are going to be created but yeah yeah were we in time that's the question yeah mm. right <clears throat> sounds like a killing spree boys so <laughs> oh okay then when i'm on board <laughs> well, i see i see six dead people <laughs> and one GM. <laughs> so yeah, so what's the plan? You're uh you're here in the center section. The roiling chaos was centered down below. Your elf who could create magical force fields to block the chaos from coming up accidentally fell into it to their death, um leaving that option no longer available. Um unfortunate. What's the plan? Go ahead and deal with this fire dude. Or... Yeah, let's go fight some fires. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and this Sounds one's in front. So you can see, we're going to call it to the north now. Hmm. The uh, the stone stairs from the center central chamber um, <coughs> descend to a hammered brass portal. Uh, and it looks to be radiating intense waves of heat. Uh, the frame around the door depicts heroic warriors doing battle with fantastical monsters and massive titans wreathed in flames. This is the entrance to the elemental fire section. And I'll let you take it from here. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> I need some kind of protection. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking at my. I was leafing through like a spell look. Like hold on. Um, nope. 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 <laughs> Maybe see if I've got like some good thick gloves or something I can put on. And I might have protect from heat or resist colder heat. Yes, I do. Ooh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Think cool like that. Okay. If Let me wanna... see how that works. Yeah. Oh, would you look at Father Leopold over here being all responsible like <laughs> I mean all I've got is like demon summoning I mean that's beneficial in its own right but wait a minute do demons resist fire hmm. I guess it depends on which one I get that's right I forgot I lost <laughs> all my level 3 spells anyways so oh, did you oh, get did you? down yeah you did I got oh down. that's right <laughs> He leveled down and I leveled up. Jeez, I have to get a 30 or more basically to make it last any longer than a single turn. Yeah. Um, are, are we in the element plane of fire or are we in the entranceway still? You're still Just in the, the entrance. Door. You haven't entered the section yet. So we're not under the benefit of any of the auras that make us feel better or worse no. about ourselves. You're not. Dang. So what does the floor look like in there? Is it like just... <laughs> you haven't even opened the door yet. Haven't opened the door yet. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I guess that's that time. Back your hand first, remember? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, what's the worst that could happen? He said, ominously. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So what are you going to do? I'm going to try and pull the door open, I suppose. Uh, go and give me a... Uh... Let's see here. 
give me a fortitude save. All right, this is good news. God bless it. With a plus seven, I get a nine. Okay. You walk up, and what were you doing? You were just trying to push the door open? Yeah, push or pull. You walk up, and you brace yourself, ready for the heat, and you push the door open harmlessly. That's <laughs> a little disappointing. Just psyching me out a little bit there. All right. All right, then. Well, you know, I haven't been burned to a crisp yet, so it's not all bad. Okay. A warm start. So, uh, yeah, you all head inside. Yep. Uh, this area... So the, the walls, you open up, the walls and the floors, it's soot-covered brass. It feels hot to the touch, but not so much that it's, it injures you. There's a heavy scent of sulfur in the air. Um, it's kind of, you know, you can feel it kind of burning a little bit in your nose and in the back of your throat. Um, every now and then you see a little flame dance up. Uh, one of these brass walls inside. It's actually dim light throughout the entire thing from this just random bits of fire that tend to spring out. Um, but yeah, you open the door and you can see that it turns into a uh, this hallway. This brass hallway continues on maybe 10, 15 feet. And then it turns into a T going left and right. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, I want to use a page uh, from the book we've been using as the game plan so far, and I want to go ahead and cast force manipulation to see if I can't make something that we can stand on and not use the floor. Sure. Go ahead. All right. So, so once you enter in this area, though, um, mm -hmm. you start feeling the effects of the the kind of like the zodiac that you're in. While you're in okay. this area, uh, thieves, your find and disarm traps increases by one die size. Ooh. Clerics, plus two die size oh, to spell checks and no disapproval. Elves and wizards, negative two die size. Oh, oh boy, that changes things. There goes um, that plan. Yeah. If you don't want to now, if you. Oh wait, that's in the room though, right? So I can cast it outside, outside the of the room. Yes, you yeah. can. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that. And Buff while it may not be bad though. Once we're in the room though, I am gonna cast resist cold or heat. And hope okay. for a roll above thirty. All right, I got the one I needed. Uh sixteen allows cool. me to make a floating platform, it can hold up to five hundred pounds. Uh and it's gonna be here for Uh, what was that? 80 minutes. Nice. All right. And you rolled privately. Okay. So y'all rolled a bunch of dice. What's going on? <clears throat> I'm private rolling for some things. I am protected from... Up to 10 points of heat or fire damage for 15 rounds. Okay. Which well, is what, like two hours or something minutes, like that? So yeah, yeah. 150 minutes. <coughs> nice. All right. Same. All right. Uh, so yeah, I tell everybody to climb aboard. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Sure. Everyone climbs aboard the magical floating disc. Uh, and you're now able to enter into this area without having to touch the ground. Nice. Awesome. It moves at a speed of 25 feet. Okay. That's not too slow. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Standard dwarven gate. Mm -hmm. I. All right. So, yeah, you move in floating on this disc. There is a left and there is a right. Uh, if you move oh. down to oh. the 
Yeah. Uh, sorry, my mercurial magic on that. I am also surrounded by a fiery nimbus. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nice. Does it deal damage to people that get too close to you? No, but it allows people that are attacking me uh, plus two bonus two attacks against me because I'm just like lined in fire and oh, easy okay. to see. Right. It, mm. it doesn't last that long though, so let me go ahead and roll it. Um, three rounds. Okay. It's not bad. All right. So, yeah, you move up to this intersection. You can see to the left, the hallway continues on for a bit and then stops at a door. Mm -hmm. To the right, um, it's shorter than the other hallway, uh, but it looks like it opens up into a larger room. Well, I know tradition is typically to follow the left-handed path. I'm going to change what works. Yeah. All right, then. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you take the left, you move down this hallway, uh, and it comes up to a a brass door. It just looks like a regular door, just made out of brass rather than, like, oak or mm -hmm. iron banding. What do you want to do? Move. Does he have, like, a, have a yeah, pull handle or something on it? I'll I'm go gonna, touch the door since I have the no, 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 resistance. No, you're not. You're okay. not. I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna check. I'm gonna check the door for traps. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, whoops, that should be a one d twenty four. Yes. Yep. That should oh be. yeah. Oh wow! That's fantastic. Uh, yeah, you are confident that this door is not trapped in any way. I will All then. Right gesture towards the door if anyone would like to touch it you're welcome to i'll go touch the door sure you touch the door it is warm to the touch <laughs> uncomfortable to touch but not so much that it injures you uh the door yeah. pulls towards you, uh, if you i'm gonna open it pull it open i'm gonna sure. like step away from it so that's not opening in sure. front of me you open it up uh and inside it seems to be like some kind of like uh laboratory or something like that. Someone will have to move in if you want a better description. I might as well, since I still have the heat okay. resistance for quite a little while. Uh, as you enter in this fell place, a wave of dark foreboding energy washes over you, quickly followed by the stench of dead air and rotten flesh. Oh. Ooh. The soot, back, soot, soot black laboratory is a maze of scarred wooden tables set with monocles, shackles, and chains, uh, hanging in cages, or hanging cages and racks of bladed instruments. One of the tables is still occupied. There's a flayed body pinned to the table with scalpels, cleavers, with a green flask setting on it. Inside the flask, you can see it's this sickly green, roiling liquid that's letting off a little bit of light. Uh, the, the body that's flayed and pinned to the table seems to... Uh, to twitch and writhe just a little bit in the glow uh, set off from this flask. Um, also in the room, there's three summoning circles drawn onto the floor um, with sputtering violet candles set around them. Two of the circles are occupied, but the third circle, the candles are toppled and extinguished and it stands empty. Um, mm. In one circle... Uh, you see what seems to be a beautiful young woman uh, with bat-like wings. And in the other circle, you see a small, hunchback, red, leathery skin creature with these large uh, bat-like wings. You might recognize it as an imp. Mm. Someone beat me to the demon summoning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but as you, you step in... They they look towards you and they're watching you intently, kind of seeing what you're gonna do. We're watching them. I want to cast detect magic and have a look around the room. Sure, go ahead and give me that. Are oh, the wait. things? Wait, wait, that's minus two. <laughs> minus two dice size. So that's gonna be a what's that? Brutal. D fourteen. D fourteen. Because it's sixteen and then fourteen, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say uh, next next time I can cast that for you. Uh, with my, my two dice size up. Oh, I just hold on. Oh, I just broke I just broke my character sheet. I can't uh -oh. see it. 
No, it's all right. It should be okay. I think it worked. Let's see. Hey. <laughs> wow. Also, That's not bad. Bad. Sammy, uh, Sammy dropped 100 bits, so everyone gets a point of fleeting luck. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thanks, Sammy. Thanks, babe. Sammy is awesome. the best. I think I might uh, burn it straight away. Let's see what the 20 is on the Detect Magic. I don't think it's that big of a deal, though. Where is it? Where did it go? Two sixty. It's in page two sixty of the fourth printing, seventh printing. So I get my dead rat king out uh, in the shape of a chaos arrow, and I start looking through it. And um, I will burn that luck to give me a twenty. Okay. Determine exactly which objects or creatures are magically enchanted within range. Spell reveals creatures of non-mortal origin. Yeah. Demons, devils, etc. Distinguish between magical creatures and non-mortal creatures. Oh, cool. Tell if different weapons or items of equipment are enchanted or whether a creature that registers as magical overall does so because of like a cloak or something. So it can delineate between the types of creatures and the gear on the creatures versus the creatures themselves, okay. basically. So, yeah, you're looking through. I mean, the, the three summoning circles, they definitely ping as, you know, magical. You can see the, the two creatures inside. Uh, both of them are immortal creatures. Uh, both of them fiends. Um with that information, you could probably kind of deduce that, you know, one's a, one's an imp, that's easy, and the other one is a succubus. Mm -hmm. uh, Are they alive? Are they stuck in those circles? Uh, they haven't moved out of them yet. They're just still standing in them, just staring at you. What about the green bubbly thing? The green the bubbly body? thing. Uh, the body appears to be mortal, uh, living. Um, but the green bubbling oh. stuff kind of registers as magical as well. Uh, and it seems like it's pure refined chaos essence. So the body is alive on the, the flayed body yeah. is alive. As you kind of uh, like move up, kind of looking at it. Yep. Yep. You can, uh, like it's twitching as you get closer, the eyes kind of focus in on you. Uh, and it, they're live. You can see organ bits inside as its chest is just broken open. Um, and it's whispering softly like, please kill me. Uh, human? Elf? Human. Other? Human? I'm just wondering. Last time if... someone said, please kill me, it backfired on us. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> well, if I have Breath of Life attached to my uh, Comprehend Spells, imbues the caster around those with benefit. All within 15 feet are healed 1d6 points of damage for every level of the spell. Oh, I like this. I'm going to be like, that's not my way, friend. Um, are they, like, restrained or anything? Yes, they're scab... Uh, scalpels, cleavers, other medical instruments are just impaled through this person's like limbs and torso, pinning them to the table underneath. Okay, well, let's uh, leave them like that. Because <laughs> yeah. if they're evil, then, you know, at least they're pinned to the table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages. All right. Uh, let me change the die size. 14. And uh, 15. So Breath of Life is the mercurial effect. Uh, all within 15 feet are healed 1d6 per uh, spell level. And that is comprehend languages, I think, is first level. So... <clears throat> Okay, so 1d6 for everyone within 15 feet. 
which is six. Nice. Nice. Nicely nice. done. And then I can read a whole bunch of languages. Right. <laughs> the secondary effect of the spell. Uh, so as you kind of cast this, everyone heals up. You can see bits of flesh start to mend on this this person pinned to the table you could recognize just kind of looking at them from you know a few steps back that it's these are all mortal wounds on this human like there's no way physically they should still be alive um but the the succubus from the circle finally calls out to you just please in the poor man's suffering i've heard enough of his crying Wow. Do we all get hit points back or just the... Uh, everyone. everyone. Everyone everyone gets six within 15 feet of me, so... Cool. Yeah. Maybe they can uh, tell us what happened here. Uh, but the imp counters back the succubus. Do not, do not disturb him. She's trying to lead you to your doom. I want to go... Are the... How are the circles uh, oriented on the floor? Are they like in a row or in a yeah, triangle? Yeah, they're in a row. In, the, in a row? Yeah, so the, the succubus is the first one, the farthest from where you entered. Then the imp is in the middle, and then the empty one was closest to the door. All right, I'm going to go sit like, you know, like the edge of their circles, them two. I'm going to go sit down and, and look at both of them while I page through my spell book because I want to look at my demon summoning spell. Yeah, I do have while, to have while a looking binding at them. as well. I could potentially uh, take over one of them. Well, right now i don't think they can get out of the circles yeah that's what I, that's why i'm like looking at my spell book and looking at these to see if i can recognize what kind of um what kind of containment it is yeah i could potentially make one of them answer to me at least but as you're you're sitting there looking through your spell book trying to find the words the succubus is just like Put him out of his misery. Free me so I can be rid of this place. What do I get in return? I will. That's how this works. That's how magic works, right? <laughs> I will share the information you need to finish this grand experiment. So that is why you think we are here? And the, the imp calls out like she tricks you. She knows nothing. Free me. I know what they were doing. I can show you how to stop it. Does one of you always lie and the other always tells That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not saying I'm a super intelligent dwarf or anything, but my guess is that there was a third party here who already gave a better answer. And this guy probably was on the receiving end of a gift of what happened after breaking a circle. Is that what happened, guy on the table? He whispers out, the demon. Oh, knock it off. You have six hit points. We know you're fine. He did this to me. Jesus <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Oh, we're going to hell. Yeah. Or the, we're there. One the the imp calls out, she wants you to slay that man, because if you disturb that vial of chaos, it will explode, ensnaring all of you to be slain. Is that true, man on the table? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll let you off the table eventually, but we just got to make sure, you know, you're not super dangerous. I did I, just heal you. Please, Some of those blades I'll might be you, stuck in you I'll forever. I'll tell but... you whatever I know. Just end oh, okay. my life, please. Well, it, I don't want to have to cast Speak with Dead. You'd have to tell us first. I'll tell you first. If you promise to kill me when I'm done. Hmm. All right. Is this like a binding promise or like a scout's honor type thing? Uh, he, he's he got a little bit of his hand still free. He wiggles it and he can get his pinky moving like, pinky promise. <laughs> oh, you are oh, for that strongest bullshit. promises. That's how you know it's important. That's a pretty brutal promise. <sighs> the, the succubus, like he knows nothing. He was nothing but a... A neophyte, an initiate. Slay him to end his whimpering. Free me, knock the candles, break the chalk lines. And I'll tell you what you need to know. Well, your kind aren't really known for being very trustworthy now, are they? I 
have nothing to lose here trapped in this circle? Why do why do I have reason to lie to you? If you would like to enter into a contract, then perhaps arrangements could be made. For example, what's your real name? I would die <laughs> rather than tell you that. All you right. Know, I can, Pinky I can, swear. <laughs> I the, can find out her real name, their real name. The, don't don't true tell name. them that. The don't imp do would that call the out. <laughs> okay. The imp would call out like she she just wants to be free so she can be reunited with her lover. I, on the other hand, just want to be free of this place. I will work with you. If you promise to protect me, I will help you shut this thing down. I'll share what knowledge I have, and then when it's done, I'll be on my way. All right, well, I got a pinky swear with this guy first, but I'll take that under advisement. Okay. I don't have a patron yet, so I'm kind of, you know, looking for one. Okay. Uh, so you want to go pinky swear the dude? I'm gonna pinky swear with the dude on the table. You mean agility? We're gonna call test. him Bobby Flay. That's a great uh, name. That's a great name. Give me an agility <laughs> test. Bobby Flayed. Bobby Flayed. Mm. Agility <laughs> test. It is. Is this just a regular D20? I hope. Yeah. Oh, I got a twelve. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, you go up. You're you're careful to give him his pinky swear because you can see this vial of green liquid is kind of like teetering in his open chest cavity. Oh. That's different. <laughs> okay. So I gen very gently pinky swear that I will end your life. I'll Tell us what you know! <laughs> this was the Grand Alembic. Uh, a tool for channeling in chaos from the deep realms and combining it with elemental energy to refine it into its pure form. Yeah, we got that part. Uh, and then with it, we were going to kill the gods and become the new gods. Every time you turn the Alembic, it refines the chaos further and further. Shit. <laughs> uh, oh, well. And note uh, to self. Each of the we'll figure that three, out at some point. Each of the three chambers of the Alembic channels a specific element. Earth, fire, and water. The water chamber also has the connection for channeling the chaos in. Good thing we went there first, I guess. <laughs> if you shut down all four of these, it can grow no stronger. But if it's if the chaos still exists below, turning the Alembic will continue to strengthen the chaos creature, eventually wow. taking its final form the chaos dragon yes i mean i called it <laughs> the, what's a note in his book like called that the to shut down each one you have to negotiate with the elemental lord that rules over each one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay I, I look at i look at everybody behind me like 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 so far, he's telling the truth. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, I mean, I really hate to say, but I'm I'm not hearing much new. The 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 chaos has one enemy elemental lord that's not represented here, and that's the element of air. Oh, yeah. In the entrance, we have captured an elemental lord of air. That way, they cannot interfere with what we were doing. Way to set them free. Wait, why would yeah. we want to set the... It seems to me like the air elementals were not on board with this plan. Right. They were They were not. Mm. Mm. If they could help us, wouldn't that be good? If you want to set the, the air elemental free, in the, the entrance, you would have come across a short room littered with desecrated holy symbols. Oh, there's yeah, a tube in yeah, it. Yeah. With the clay jar with the right, air elemental right. sigil on it. That is where we captured the air elemental. Man, we could have saved ourselves a lot of time. <laughs> the air elemental will be angry. It will be dangerous to open it, but... If you shut down all of the elemental streams in the chaos stream, the chaos creature below 
will finally be uh, susceptible to physical damage. Ah, so that's why we need to. Go so shut all the streams down and then go find the air buddy and he'll help us. Yes. He'll be mad. Kill the chaos we'll be like, creature. Well, probably Peaceful. just be warned when you shut all the streams down, the chaos creature below will probably come up uh, agitated that the process has stopped. Be prepared to fight. It is particularly weak to air elemental energy as well as holy energy. Um, again, paging through my grimoire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I have mm -hmm. ESP. Hmm, I might be able to have a chat with the air elemental. Be careful if you do. He will, they will be quite angry. Also be warned that the final circle, there was a devil that we had summoned. And I carelessly knocked one of the candles over. And it broke free and did this to me. Where did he go? I do not know. Okay. I've so if been you here. die, what happens to the rest of these people here? I, they continue doing what they're doing. I think until the circle is broken, they're stuck in the circle. That's true. They can't be uh, unsummoned or... Uh, they could if always you know, be banished. If you know the spells, you could do it. If not, just do not break the circles and they cannot harm you. Or you can destroy their phylacteries. And they will be Ooh. unsummoned there as well. Do we know where their phylacteries are? They were stored over in the water section. Look <sighs> in the library. It's a small wooden box mm. with three oh, obsidian. Oh, 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 we have break them all. Yeah, <laughs> that. Yeah, I'll pull out the things and I'll be like, oh, nice. And I'll throw them down and start stomping on them. So as soon as you <laughs> throw them down. Wait, I want to. <laughs> As soon as you throw them down, a roar comes from the end of this chamber where you entered. And you look back I'll and you see fast. an ogre-sized devil with weeping wounds all over its body. You shall not! Thanks. And the, the dude on the table, it's him. That's the devil who did this to me. It's stomping time. Yeah. Do I just keep yeah. uh, keep stomping? Yes. Stomp, 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 stomp. Keep stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp that one first. I want to do. I want to do sense. an initiative contest between you and this devil, Jake. Go All ahead right. and roll your initiative. I like the sound. Of Can it. I join in with banish? Because oh. I do know banish. Oh. Uh. So here's what we're gonna do. Jake's gonna try and stomp. This okay. devil's uh, no. gonna. Uh, no wait, spending luck doesn't work for this, does it? No, Jake's gonna try and stomp. This devil's gonna leap forward and push Jake out of the way, and here is where we can do initiative. Okay. Uh, let me. Where can I do this? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna to try too. spell too. <laughs> Damn. Bring out your spells. Ding. ready with the spell also do my best to just put a shield between you and it thus Oof. ensuring my own doom go for body we believe in you give me We're just a initiative. second i'm getting everyone okay. plugged into the initiative track i like how we all look like spider gwen yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's uh the mystery man icon we're all oh. being rogues Foundry is being really weird. Really, really weird. Yes, the Doom song. Yes. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Not now, gear. Gear. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, too. 
I was actually thinking like video game do. There's not much action to that one, although it's good. The Megadeth version is is exceptional. I use it for ziggurat. And that was fun. Is good. It's been a while since I played that. Doom, 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 doom. Okay. If everyone wants to click over to the character creations uh, screen, oh sure, sure. Mm -hmm. force you. I've got initiative set up here. Okay. Cool. Uh, Sent. You can just click. Actually, I think you'll need to manually roll initiative, and then I'll oh. plug in the numbers. Tell which of these are mine. Ugh. I'll I'll enter it in, or the roll. Yeah, or I can't tell which of the icons are mine. Don't worry about that. Should nice. be one that's got the square around it. That should be yours. I would think you should have been on it by default. I think. Uh, See, I I know which one's mine. All right. Um, if you double click on it, I think it opens the character sheet too. So. Oh. All right, oh, Tyler, I'm case, showing yeah, you got a nine. Is that correct? All right, Bert, what'd you get? There we go. Well, that's just it. The one that was highlighted for me was not my character. Right. Don't worry about the, yeah. the tokens. I just have to be on this page because the... Right. Okay, initiative... so it rolled under for Bowdy, okay. and I got an 18. Okay. All right, Christopher? I got a stunning seven. <laughs> All right. That's stunning. Dan. Stunning. I did what I do. I got a two. <laughs> uh, Jake? Six. Lovely. And Jeremy? Eighteen. Not bad. Okay, so the devil creature got a 20. Oof. Well, <laughs> nice knowing y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Jake, since you were trying to stomp on this thing, it is going to take a swipe at you with its claws. Uh, let me double check, because we're in the goat area, which means this affects monsters. Oh, okay. Not good for you. Plus one to die and attack. Oh, boy. Boy, there will be some die going on here. <laughs> Might be plus six to die. 99 ways to die. <laughs> oh. Jake. I wasn't ready to see this guy yet. <laughs> uh, 39 to hit. Uh, yeah, that's about my AC. Uh, Just missed. Oh my god, his damage. bonus is my AC. <laughs> <laughs> Can't miss. He can still fumble. He can still critically fail. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake, 15 damage. Yes. Well, I'm still alive. All right. Mm -hmm. Bert, what is Mornath going to do? Um, well, I'm at a deficiency here because I can't really cast. Um, so. <sighs> cast. I cast. You cast. We all cast. I know what I'm doing. All right. Sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, so if we're down two dice, that's what a D. 14. 14. 14. Okay. Let me just roll this. Oh, I'm casting my frost spell, seeing as oh, wow. it's a flaby right. demon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good wow. result. That's nice. fantastic. Um, all right. So let me see what that gets me. Um, sorry. Uh, what level spell was that? Sorry, I lost my character sheet on here. It's, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Chill touch is what it's called. Okay. Oh. Um, 21 on chill touch. Uh, okay. So. Okay. I'm going to actually burn three points of luck to get to 24. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, basically what happens for everyone gets a plus four to attack rolls against this creature and your attacks do an additional 2d6 damage as well as 1d4, 1D4 points of strength loss. Wow. What? Nice. Wow. That's awesome. We could turn him into a little baby. Nice. So does that deal any damage immediately? Um... Uh, actually, yeah. A part of this is me attacking with my hands, and this is what it does. Okay. So I make I now make a melee attack. Okay. Which is <laughs> gonna suck. <laughs> Good luck. Now it's only Remember your spells all... that are reduced. Your melee right. attacks. Well, yeah, but I did a lot of uh, I did a lot of burning last oh, episode. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm actually at a minus one on Ooh. strength now. Uh, but that's actually a net plus three because of that. Does that a hits. nineteen that hit? Hits. Oh, yes, cool. Does. All right. So it does. Um, Maybe we can slowly reduce that plus 16 to right. hit. First of all, it takes three points of strength loss. So it drops oh, wow. three points of strength. Hey, that's handy. Yeah. And it does. I do nine points of damage with my fists. Not bad. Not bad. All right. I, I misread slightly. Uh, nobody else gets the plus four to the attack, but you do get the additional 2d6 in damage and the 1d4 points of strength loss when you attack. Nice. Uh, you said you dealt. That was three point or nine points of damage? Nine points of damage. <laughs> All right. And s three points of strength loss. Uh, yes, okay. three points of strength loss. Yep, and it's my mercurial <laughs> effect that's making this sticky for everybody else. Very cool. All right, Mornath. <clears throat> Next up is for Bowdy. All right, so we've got like the little figures are right there on the ground. Right there on the ground. Stomp, stomp, stomping away. How many action dice do you have? I have two action dice and a shield bash. Okay, <laughs> there's three items, three of these things on the floor. Mm -hmm. Are you going to try and take out all three? Hell yes, I am. I'm going to make you roll me in, roll me your attacks just to make sure you don't fumble. Okay. Uh, you know, these are things, little obsidian, you're a big burly dwarf. Yeah. It's Smashing right. a rock should be easy for you. Fair enough. So we'll toss in the D die. I get a seven on the D wow. die. That's there awesome. So we'll just, I'll use the boa can chopper roll just for the sake of it. Sure. So chop. Yep. Chop. Yep. And then I'll just do D14 plus 9. D14 plus 9. And that's it. So you run up and you stomp, and the imp just disappears in a puff of smoke. <laughs> you stomp, and the succubus disappears in a puff of smoke. And then you take your shield and you just slam down on the edge of your shield on the final one. I was so ready. There you go. And, it's my uh, electric dragon sword. Ooh. Nice. Dan Dragon's dancing sword. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, you slam down with the edge of your shield on the last of these little obsidian figures. And the devil's like, no! Is it just like Thanos disappears? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know, that's feel first... so good for a bounty. <laughs> you can suck on it. You can suck on it long and hard. Uh, that's the first time I've hit with my shield bash this entire module. <laughs> and it was worth it. Kill the demon. Totally worth it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, destroyed all three of these demons. So much for trying to take control of them. I can in combat. Everyone can go back to the Grand Alembic. I can end combat. We can uh, try and heal uh, Benny up real quick. Sure. Uh, yeah, so the, oh, the oh, demons, yeah, right. these D30. devils are all gone. Sorry. One of these days, I'll remember. Wow, it did not change much. <laughs> uh, you get, uh, what, what's your alignment? Uh, chaotic. Uh, then you get uh, two two hit die. Oh, that's nice. As a thief, what is my hit die? I forget. 
D6. All right. Bing, bang, boom. Ten. Dan, you were still rolling privately. Oh, I shoot. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, you're still here in this lab. There's this filleted dude with this vial of green stuff setting in his chest cavity. Mm -hmm. um, the devils um, are gone. I'm going to take the one pound of clay that's in my backpack and shape it into uh, a holder to grab this flask so as not to touch it. Okay. Uh, and then to, like, gingerly lift it <sighs> off of his chest before we kill him. Okay. I would like you to give me a... Uh, give me an agility test on it. <laughs> make sure I'm going to hide somewhere. Man, if we all just step outside and close the door real oh. quick. Okay. Yeah. That's good. You take it, you pick it up, and you gingerly set it down. As soon as this flask loses contact with this person, uh, his body just starts like turning to dust and crumbling oh. and he just oh, dies that's what was keeping him alive yeah later bobby <laughs> and he is now dead you've kept your word you have some information uh now that the main kind of threats wildness is done uh you do see in the back of this laboratory there's another door uh you know leading out the back oh no Shall we? So I mean, there's no up. way that would be trapped, right? Not after all this. It wasn't uh, there before? Yeah. Like, it just appears? No, it was there before. You okay. just didn't notice it. I'm still going to check it for traps. Sure, go ahead and roll it for me. <laughs> all right. More so, it's not that you didn't notice it. It's that I forgot to describe it. <laughs> well, it was hard to notice it with the, uh, the, the situation. Yeah. There was yeah. a lot going on in that room. Oh, wow. You're rolling real good on those. Yeah, you don't. You're you are very confident that it is not trapped. I'll give the okie doke and then spit out some blood and step back. Okay. Yeah, the door's safe to open. Who likes to open doors around these parts? Oh, oh I love opening it. doors. Okay, I don't know. It's really important there. <laughs> so finally, I mean, before Bowdy can do it, but I just need to know who's doing it. I'll do it. You walk up, That's you grab it, doors. you open the door. Uh, it goes into a short hallway that then turns to the right, maybe 10 feet down. Hmm. Well, then let's go. Sure. Onwards. Uh, and you, unfortunately, rightwards. Yeah. You follow this hallway. It kind of snakes just for a little bit. Eventually, it takes you to a three-way intersection. There's a left, and there's a slight right. Uh, the left is a very long hallway. But the slight right kind of, it looks like it goes to a T intersection. Haven't all the have the entrances been on those long hallways? I I missed the middle two, but the first one was, wasn't it? Uh, like the a really long hallway to the wherever the wolf there. Yeah, was. usually the the long hallways. Now the the water one was kind of set up a little bit different, where. There was kind of three paths, and they both had very, they all had very clear kind of like end point destinations. Oh, yeah. uh, and there was no additional paths outside of the, the water sphere. So yeah, you're turn left, and it's a very long hallway, or kind of take that slight right, and it goes to a, what looks like another intersection. Oh, what do you say, team? Is our desire to try and deal with the wind or the air elemental first, or do we want to deal with the fire elemental and risk having the chaos rise up between I us first? I think we need everything on our side that we can get before I, mm -hmm. we we do that because that's uh that's 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 the dinner gong, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think what we could do. Uh, this is this is the plan. I put it in chat. I think what we could do is we could go and make an offer, and then I can use ESP to see if the the air elemental agrees to the offer. Like we will free you, but you we need your help to destroy this mm. chaos wormling, um, so that it doesn't point. destroy the world and everything. Uh, and if if you approve, just think your answer. 
<laughs> go to your happy place <laughs> and I will see it. Something like that. That's the best I can think of, aside from just cracking it open and maybe it mean, killing us all. <laughs> do you like my plan? Check yes or no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go on a date and kill a uh, chaos wormling? Yes or no. <laughs> you know, that's not the bad way to find a patron either. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to be my patron yes or yes no? do you want to be yeah. my patron actually do you want uh, to be my patron i was thinking do you want to be my patron dun, 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 dun. <laughs> my elf didn't choose a patron i did not use the uh patron bond and all that spell oh well, we've got two elves without yeah. patrons Ooh. we're we're crafty that way i want to no i can't say that aloud <laughs> okay so i just need to know a plan I like that plan. Mm -hmm. Are you all going to backtrack to go talk to the air elemental? Sure. Why not? I think. Well, didn't he yeah. say he was going to ESP to the air elemental? Well, yeah. I, I have to be there to like mm -hmm. yell through the urn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If you want to be my page, you got to get with my friends. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> No. You can have two elves for the price of one. <laughs> uh, Who else? One patron. <laughs> oh. you I want to find you like a patron. Backtrack to the the center area, and you can kind of see, like, looking down at the roiling chaos before. Um, it's taking on more of a red tint. Is all it's drawing on now is fire. Um. But uh, looking down the original path that you entered through, you can see it just dead ends in a stone wall. It doesn't look like the Alembic is in the right configuration for you to back out. Means we're going to have to turn it to get out of here. To go top. Well, oh, and isn't there that um, creature that tried to attack us in that first area still, too? There was. That's what chased you all oh. in here. Oh. Creature? I don't remember what it was. Creature? You never saw what it was. It plot creature. Yeah, it was a plot creature. Is plot the creature designed elemental. to get us in the dungeon. Is no. the, the mm -hmm. air elemental perhaps a foregone opportunity? No. We can always come back, get back. Let's see. I don't really have any spells that would be of use to get us anywhere. I don't Other know. elves? <sighs> Transportation spells? Uh... I don't. Hmm. Mm -mm. Other than Talk writing on this uh, this force wall, that's pretty much all I can do. Um, I I do have the spell make potions though. <laughs> if we have the time, I can maybe um, hold on. Let me see if I can. That's a high level or higher level spell. I think dealing with the end of the world, we got all the time we need right now. <laughs> Hypothetically, well, until creatures turn that alembic. Until creatures start coming to get us. Don't um, turn the Olympic. Well, if you all want to go talk to that elemental, step one would be turning the Olympic. Yeah. Uh, no, levitation is really the only thing I can do for a potion. Or, uh, well, there's gaseous form. Turn into a gas and slide through the cracks. <laughs> yeah. Um, wasn't the entrance like up some stairs and it's in the wall? Is so it, yeah, you gotta. It'll go. You're in the center area, and the center area is like a big plus sign. Right. And the the plus sign is and these it, catwalks that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they go downstairs to each of the elemental areas, or they raise up to where you guys entered in through. And right now, it just dead ends in a wall. Well, uh, that's right, because the outer wall turned with, turns with yeah, everything with else. It. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. That's that's the part. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the, right. the, the entrance, essentially, the entrance stair set is represented by the, the chaos sigil on the inner wheel. And when you all entered through, chaos was in the worm. Worm, right. Every time we turn it, um, some critter comes crawling out, too, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It refines the chaos down below, giving it a more substantial form. Which would mean that we'd have two additional chaos critters, increasingly stronger and possibly a stronger dragon. Well, we just have to move it from where it is. We just have to move it backwards one right now. Well, and then we have to move it again. Mm -hmm. to go back. Get to the back. Yeah. 
to come I, back in here and go back. I home. like that uh, yeah. gaseous form idea. Can it's only we... like five to <laughs> six each turn of hit points for it. <laughs> I don't, but we don't know if there's a crack what to mm. get through in gaseous form presently. I'll, I will tell you that, uh, you know, this this dungeon, from what you're guessing, kind of exists in almost like an extra planar space. I mean, that's how you're able to like it. Because if you enter in through one of these plane spheres and you walk out the back like you did the first one, you ended up in that weird limbo space mm -hmm. where you met that wolf yeah. king. Uh huh. Little little interconnected dimensions. So if it's not connected, it's not there. Yeah. Mm. Do you turn it? I still think we need all the help we can get before we take down that last barrier. That's true. If this thing, if we're going to have to face it and it's vulnerable to air, mm -hmm. that air elemental is probably going to be able to put out a good bit more wall up than we can. Um, that's probably right. True. Okay. So one powerful ally against one uber powerful enemy. Seems like a trade off. We got some more uh, more fleeting luck. Oh, snap. Ooh. Nice. It's Ashley, a good time for it. You. And look, I'm not trying to be a bad guy here, but maybe if that thing's putting a hurt on it, it'll draw its attention for the first bit of the conflict. Yeah. I mean, boo hoo, it's a sad thing. I'd hate for it to kill the thing. Well, but, uh, hypothetically, if it's an air elemental and it gets thrashed on this plane, it should just evaporate and go back. back to its own. Yeah, go back to its own plane. That's usually how it works. Oh, well, hell, then I so, don't even feel bad at all. <laughs> there you go. I'm glad I am glad I put those worries to rest. <laughs> uh, I hate whenever morals get in the way of a good plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we then? That's the plan. I just need to know the action. I guess we're turning the thing to get back to where we need to go. For Are you turning it one tick counterclockwise? Yeah. Yes. There it is. So as you rotate, the you're in the center section. You can feel everything turn. As you're looking out the stairwell that you came in through, you can see it kind of turns and it opens up into a hallway. Um, you can hear the roiling of the chaos below increase. Um, yeah, so you, we're still on our platform, three feet above the ground. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Still floating above. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now you can go back up and you can exit out and get into like the, the entrance dungeon area. Uh, well. and let me, uh, where is... I think we're back on my map. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I mean, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to share this map with everyone. Because why the fuck not? Oh, ooh, this is a PG stream. That's my bad. <clears throat> so this is the entryway? This is the entryway. You all enter in down through this area marked 010. Where you saw the air elemental would be what was marked 08. You came up uh -huh. these stairs, and then you went to those giant double brass uh -huh. doors, and you moved the giant, you know, uh, fire pits, whatever they're called. I'm forgetting. The braziers. Uh -huh. Right away. Uh, as you're in this large hallway, you can see those brass doors. They've been dented and warped in by the force of whatever creature it was that was chasing after you. Hopefully it got uh, tired and isn't just waiting there for us. <laughs> Sleeping right in front of the door. <laughs> Somebody got uh, particularly special ears. What are you trying to say, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Racist. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, the, is, uh, look with your special eyes commercial. <laughs> are you going to, I guess I just need to know the plan. You're all in this hallway now. Um, I suppose I could sneak <laughs> silently ahead and try to... No. Yeah. Mordath, right. also, you did provide a potion of Yashia's form. Is that correct? Uh, Well, no. I would have had to take time to do it. It takes hours. Oh, okay. So it was All a question right. of whether or not we needed it. If we're on a floating disc anyways, wouldn't we be pretty quiet? Yeah. Yeah. 
You would. That is true. Uh, so these doors are bashed in. It's going to take a little bit of oomph to open them up. I am not an oomphy person. Nor am I. For Bounty, Ooh, I think everyone's is. looking at you, yeah. Yeah, I was going to... I think we can all, all right. put our shoulder to it, but for Bounty's both. Look, I know I'm my more... role. I don't have the magic, but I've, mm. I've got what you need sometimes. So we'll just... Uh, get... Mm. Oh, my oh. hip. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you give it up, oh. and it doesn't budge. <laughs> Oh, uh, I really stomped down hard on those little uh, phylacteries, you know. Maybe, maybe Nerion won't give it a try after all. It's a hernia Go surgery. <laughs> That's good enough. It doesn't take a lot, but you <laughs> push these doors open. Um, there's a little bit of groaning, a little bit of screeching of the metal. Um, but you look out into this chamber, and you don't see anything. So whatever this creature is, is no longer there. You can see it was large. It looks like it scraped up the the floor, the ceilings, the walls. Um, Blood monster is gone. Uh, but you can still see the, uh, the entrance that you took, the stairs down that took you into that weird chamber where they're saying the air elemental is being stored. Yeah, worst case, we just bring the jar with us. Now, uh, this jar, back. it's on a pedestal, right. and then the ceiling butts right up against the top of the jar. So, it, there, there's... Mm. A, it might be holding up the ceiling, which is what I first thought when we saw it. Um, and B, it might just be wedged in there. So, if we break it, either it's going to crush us all, <laughs> or... Um, and we take a look to see if it actually is structural. Uh, yeah, if you want to head down there. Uh, now, clerics, as you enter into this area, you can feel your, you know, your connection to your deity just vanish. The floor in this room as you move down these stairs, it's a very short room. Um, mm -hmm. It's littered with desecrated holy symbols. Um, mm. And it's just like radio silence from your god while you're in here. Um but uh, if someone wants to make me an intelligence test, that's what I'll want to see if this appears to be structural. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll it, check it out. Okay. Well, while we're all thinking about it, I'll just start throwing these holy symbols down in another hallway. Uh, and, yeah. And if you're going to sin, you might as well do it now because they can't see you. That's true. <laughs> uh, Bert, you check around the seams of the wall, kind of mm -hmm. looking up to see if it's, you know, looks like it would move freely. And it does not. It looks like the room was just built short, and then this jar was just wedged in there. Okay. Bert, were you looking at the the ceiling itself? Uh, well, anything. I just wanted to just look at its structural integrity, like look to see if there's enough actual support from walls to just hold everything yeah. up. Are it, the walls connected to the floor? Because remember, we've already been in a spilling, spinning cylinder. With the it does. Walls it moving. looks like it's a, a solid room. Like it doesn't look like the floor is designed to move or the ceiling is designed to move. Doesn't mean it's not a trap. Just means it looks good. Yep. <laughs> well, isn't that what we have a master locksmith to tell us? Uh, you also have a dwarf. Yeah. Dwarf. Too. Yeah. For bounty. I mean, so I either our over. thief or our dwarf, either or both of you, if you want, can take a look at this. Yeah, Maybe. sure. Maybe a uh, dwarf's perspective would make things a little simpler. Um, right. And if you two want to work together, uh, mm -hmm. one of you can choose to roll, and you'll get a plus one die size for the other one helping. Okay. Uh, what uh, What would we be rolling? Intelligence. Okay. Well, so or on just... one hand, I'll get a plus five. On the other hand, I'll have a minus one. So I've got a plus four. Uh, well, I've got a plus one, so okay. I guess I'll I'll assist you. For bounty, roll me a d24 plus four. Okay. Oh, Whoa. baby, look at that. Wow. Wow. Yes! That's fantastic. Yeah, you check it out. The two of you work it over. You were convinced that it is not trapped. And that the ceilings, the walls, and the floor are all structurally connected. Like, there's no no uh, foul play in this chamber. 
And the pedestal? Because you did say the pedestal. <laughs> is also solid. It is also it's, safe. It's the right. Indiana Jones thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> hey, look, I, I agree with you. Most of the time, when someone looks good, it's a trap one way or the other. I've got three ex wives to prove it. <laughs> Shit, that's hilarious. Aww. <laughs> All right. So. Um, Boy, he's adventuring. He just can't pay the child support. Anymore. I know, right? <laughs> I've had three failed businesses and three failed wives. I tried to balance them out. <laughs> well, don't you worry. We're going to have that really good business with the brewery coming up sometime soon. I was so. really counting on those gems of the Dwarven <laughs> Lords, you know? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you're you're sure. Uh, so, Chris, Christopher, was your plan still to use ESP? Yeah, so I want to... I can only read thoughts with the ESP. Okay. So I have to... We have to, like, yell... I figured I would just yell up into the urn um, in hopes that it's trapped inside and it can hear me and okay. then cast ESP to see if I can, because if I, if I roll high enough, I can concentrate for a certain number of rounds to okay. focus in on, on so the thoughts. Go ahead and roll that for me. Now, Dan, you said you were working on throwing out all these holy symbols, right? Yeah, I figure why not. Okay. The more holy symbols you throw out, the you can hear your connection to your deity slowly building back up. I uh, figure it might help us with communicating yeah. with this uh you know, critter in a box. I'm yeah. gonna spell burn four points. Okay. Uh so it was one from strength, two from agility, one from stamina. Sure. So there's gonna be a plus four on this roll. 19. Oh. So it's a 23. All right. Concentrating for a full round. Caster can read the thoughts of one creature. One air elemental, please. Uh, 500 feet. Switch targets each new round. Uh, any creature receives a will save against the spell, the spell roll. 23. So it's, you said it means to make a, a save? Yeah, they get a will save okay. versus the 20 to fail it 20 if it wants to, probably. But, yeah. uh, we'll Doesn't save. want its thoughts to be read. So, how are you? Are you just going to start it first or are you going to talk to it and then start your spell? Uh, I want to talk to it first. Okay. That'll. <laughs> The, the, the reason why I'm asking is if you're explaining your plan, mm -hmm. uh, it'll purposely fail that save. Oh, okay. So if you're right. not and you're just trying to obtrusively read its mind, it'll try to make it save. And I got to tell you, it gets a plus 15 to will saves. Yeah, oh, no. Ooh. So the, the plan was to yell through the urn and then cast a spell. And, okay. and my, my, the thing with think your answer uh, so that I can sense your thoughts. Okay. Uh, was was going to be it, and then I would uh, so that it would be cast the spell and then listen in to the creature in the urn. Dear wise er air elemental, we are here to keep the end of the world from happening and the gods from dying, and uh, we need your help to dis to destroy a chaos wormling, etc., etc., etc. We will free you if you uh, if you agree to help us. Um, not kill us <laughs> yeah you you tell it to to think its thoughts uh mm -hmm. its thoughts it's a roiling just a, a maelstrom of rage inside the pot it's angry it's like the theophages will pay for capturing me the theophages will pay for trying to disrupt the natural order i will destroy all i will come down with the fury of the north wind and slay everything but with your your comments like hey like we want to help you it's like, this is a theophage trick. Theophages are unholy creatures. If you speak truth, cast a miracle for me. Cast some holy power within this chamber so I can know Lady. that you are not. <laughs> oh, maybe turn it, turn and look to the clerics like... <laughs> oh, I have to I say it out loud. I'm sorry, I'm reading his thoughts. So I, re I relay it. Like, as I read, I relay. Yeah everything make it fast clerks what are you gonna do um maybe it's a good thing i started hauling these <laughs> symbols mm -hmm. out here yeah 
So clerics, what are you going to do? So now suddenly it's like we all should start hauling them out of here. Um, <laughs> what would be a good one? Divine aid or bless Something if that... you have it. You can bless uh, the area. I was thinking uh, holy sanctuary. Well, if you get high enough roll, would let you bless the area as well. I don't have either of those spells. Tyler, you, you? I do, but I'd have to score really, 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 really high. Well, try it out. See what you get. <clears throat> Especially since it's considered an only area. I'll try it. Yeah. <coughs> Contain Rona, man. Contain Fail. I know. <laughs> this Rona is... It's no joke. I guess that's um, scary God. shit. That would be... That'd be down Ooh, through. I hit the delete button, not the roll button. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, the air elemental dies. <laughs> <laughs> that's or a fail. Do. <laughs> it's like it was a trap. <laughs> You're all pancakes. That's just a straight failure. Ooh, you try, but uh, the error elemental. Still, you're detecting its thoughts. Uh, I'm still, I'm still trying to like concentrate on it. Oh, some bits just flew in. Oh snap! Oh, you you we get, get a, a re oh, re oh, rerolls. We get, we get two oh. rerolls back. Thanks, Ashley. Go. Thanks, Jeff. That's fantastic. Tyler, give a... You got two re-rolls on this thing. Don't fuck up. Oh, oh no. man, I can't say that word. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Reroll. Chuck needs a re-roll. <laughs> Can we re-roll that one? <laughs> Swear <Come> jar. On. <laughs> Holy sanctuary. Ooh. 18, is that okay. high enough? Uh, 18, enemies are compelled to... F Not really. It doesn't I mean, bless the area. You have to get a 24 above, I think. How much luck? luck? Um, I'm, you know what? I will burn six points of luck. I have there it to go. burn. Ooh. Or Use five it or points of luck it. and one point of fading luck. It's so. the last session, Chuck. It sure is. <laughs> uh, so you burn your luck. You cast this holy sanctuary. You bless the area. And the Christopher, you can feel the rage kind of subside. They, they speak the truth. They are not the theophages. I will not kill them. I will help them. Free me from this jar. In the, the, the feed of this chaos spawn. And I will help you fight it. Okay, so I guess we take the jar with us. Destroy the jar and let me free. Are uh, you... You, I I'm sorry. Smash. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, really, smash. You're not gonna hurt the air elemental. The the urn is the <laughs> is the prison. <laughs> sure. Why not? As I, I, I slowly step backwards, like I hope this is gonna work. <laughs> yeah. You just roll your attack just to make sure you don't fumble it. Okay. Go for Bowdy. Don't screw up setting the air elemental free. No pressure. There's still another reroll left, right? Okay. Yeah. There is another reroll. We got a reroll in the bank. Seventeen. Died. Yeah. You go up with your <laughs> your sword, your I'm sorry, your axe, your boa contropper, and you boom and you break this thing and it just explodes into the room. As you're all pushed back by this just gale force wind that escapes. And you can feel it. And it, it, it communicates in a, a strange verbal way in the, the, the stream to the chaos spawn, and I will help you slay it. I'll be waiting in the central chamber for you. And it escapes up the stairs. Um, oh, good. We did a good thing. We I, I just look at you all, I'm like, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was my plan. Thank goodness one of our clerics actually has cleric -y spells here. They always <laughs> sound so cool if they pop off, but got to roll a 24. Uh, it was well. cool, Father Leopold. It was cool. It In was the end, cool. you were the coolest of us all. Hey, uh -huh. do we gain benefits from that spell? Uh, <laughs> let me see what it... I think it doesn't last for very long. It's like five turns or something. Is it a holy sanctuary? Uh, let's see. It's me and anyone within five feet. Uh, everyone must remain within five feet of me, uh, or the effect ends. Uh, effect only lasts for one turn, but it is a holy sanctuary around me Isn't for a one turn, turn. Isn't that an hour? 
I thought it was, oh, is it? Uh, 10 minutes, I think. 10 minutes, yeah. 10 minutes, that's what it is. So, okay. Yeah, I wrote well, it down in the book because we yeah, kept, that's, yeah, that's turn right. is 10, 10 minutes, minutes, round is 6 seconds. If we're all standing on the force platform, we're all within 5 feet, and it yeah. moves. <laughs> yeah, small, but so. <laughs> anyway, yeah. anyone under 3 hit, I cannot attack us at all. Anyone 4 or higher would have to succeed a 24 well save to resist. Giddy up, Tensor. That's our yeah. disc, right? Giddy up, Wheel of Force. <laughs> Giddy up, ten Tensor. Minutes. Tensor's floating disc. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> I guess we go back now. but uh... it's Leopold's floating disc. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All I right. was anticipating just playing one session, so my character's completely random. including my Just going to wrap my arms around Leopold. Titanic style as we fly along. <laughs> Before we get too far along, I'm going to hold them up like this. <laughs> I want to point to some of those desecrated holy symbols and ask our cleric, can you tell me what those symbols actually represent? Uh, I don't clerics, know. Uh, just random ass deities. It's like every deity that might have existed in history has a desecrated holy symbol here. Ah, mm. okay. I'm just going to. I'm just gonna take out my bag and just kind of drag it along the floor as we go, and just pick up maybe you know five, six, seven of them. Fishing for symbols. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> All right, so um, y'all head back into the Alembic. Let's go. Yeah, let's yeah. get this last section done. Yeah, turn you're the wheel back. Heading back into the fire section. So as you get back into the fire section. Uh, you come up to that initial left and that initial right. Uh, left or right? Left was to the lab, lab, correct? Left was through the lab. So right? Oh, actually, real quick though, with the, the dungeon rotated, as you approach, now it's you're, you're entering this platform where it was oriented to the north, it's now oriented to the west. You mm -hmm. turn towards the west, and this fiery brass door where it was radiating heat before, uh, now it is not. I need to turn it back one more time. Right. Mm -hmm. Once <laughs> clockwise. Should be. So what's the... I just need to know what the plan is. I think we're sending it back to the way it was before. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you take this, and you rotate it one tick Clockwise. Mm -hmm. The cauldron bubbles a little more. And the cauldron bubbles a little more. Five more D6 of hit points for the final battle. Oh, uh, <laughs> we have an air deity on our side now. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just going to go charging in, let the thing kill me, and we'll give our buddy Jeff a happy birthday send off. There you go. Yeah. Watch the air elemental show up, and the guy's just got like a Dyson fan down there or something. It's like, haha, take that. Gotcha. <laughs> and the air element is defeated. Is it? It's not, yeah, we got a couple hours till Jeff's birthday. I did hear Jeremy dies in the end, so. That is true. That's the it's new one. It'd be a uh, great way to go. We'll just have to kill him. Wait no a second. What. Father Leopold, when you caught. Why was there a seven? Did you actually roll again? Uh, I hit uh, on accident, yes. Okay, cool. Because I'm like, that's a fumble. Am I taking away luck points? <laughs> no, I. Okay. I I meant to pop the description open and I okay. clicked the roll That's button. That's fine. You know. As you rotate the thing one you <clears> click <throat> to the right, the dungeon turns and all of a sudden the this fiery brass door kind of heats back up. Uh, and you're able to then re-enter it. You're still on okay. this floating disc. Oh, it was it wouldn't let us through when it was cold? Uh, it would not have let you through when it was cold. Aha. Uh -huh. Fancy. Fancy door is fancy. So, uh, well, yeah, left or right at this first intersection. You continue the path you took before. That's a left. I mean, I don't think we finished exploring that way, had we? No, you haven't. Nope. Well, then let's go back that one. So you're taking the left? Yeah, sure. Do we take another left? That's the question. So you take your left. You move through the laboratory. You take the, the hallway that turns to the right, and then you come to that kind of three-way intersection. There's the left that goes on a long hallway, and then there's the slight right. Do we do the usual? I, I think so. It's been working out very well for us. It's like they made, you know? they made module just for us. 
<laughs> or just to lull us into a false sense of security. Maybe, yeah. maybe. <clears throat> Once the DM learns your tricks, it's all over. We don't have any tricks. Gee, I mean, in fairness, we're the best party ever for you. <laughs> You know, we always go left. That's true. Watch I always know what way. to prep. No, no tricks. Just predictability. Okay. So you turn to the left. It's this long hallway. Uh, it's maybe like 40 feet down this hallway. And all of a sudden it converts from this brass soot covered wall with little licks of fire dancing up to it into a, just a regular stone corridor with this eerie mist set into it. This feels like the mm. wrong direction somehow. Mm. Or, uh, I don't want to give away clues, but if people think back about what they did during the Earth area. Yeah, it kind of, the area changed when we moved from the one plane to the other plane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there for that, so. No, you weren't. <laughs> it's all right. You should have remembered it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me you're okay. not watching, Dan? I was, I was busy Once in a corner, there. just staring at the wall. <laughs> you All said right. something about microdosing. I was very confused. <laughs> so what's the plan? Let's see if we can't find a fire warlord or whatever. Yeah, yeah we should come to some door for a, a hall with a throne. So, are you continuing through out of this brass area into this this stone kind of bizarre feeling area? If anything, we'll get another magic item. Could okay. be. I say, and, go forward. Yeah, we'll just take it inch by inch. As you move out of this kind of this brass hallway into this regular stone hallway. You can feel the heat kind of subside. Um, you, um, the cold kind of sets in. It's this kind of meandering, wandering hallway. The further in you get, the thicker this strange mist is. And eventually you come across this large chamber. Inside this chamber, the broad passage leads to a vaulted chapel. The air is thick with incense. There's thousands of candles arrayed in tiers along the floor and in niches cut into the high walls, casting the chamber in a hazy, flickering light. Set against the back wall of this chamber is a towering carving of a seated god, easily 50 feet or more in height. Now, uh, let's go through this real quick. Uh, Mornath, does Mornath worship a deity? No, uh, he does not have, he's not bonded. Okay. Mornath, you see this large, um, large setting figure with crossed legs. They've got a, a ho uh, head of a ram with these big curling horns and these bat-like wings. Uh, Oakenfen, do you, does Oakenfen worship a deity? Uh, uh, he went to religious school when he was young, but he has since fallen off the path, so which is why he doesn't have a patron. <laughs> the the same kind of creature, this this strange humanoid creature with a goat's head and these wings. Uh, Nerian, who's your deity? Uh, I didn't get one picked because I randomly rolled and I didn't think I'd show uh, up again. <laughs> your your deity is uh, Kornath, the elven deity uh, of my homebrew worlds. <laughs> and you see this statue is an effigy of Kornath. Okay. Mm. Uh, Wayland, does Wayland worship a deity? Uh, his dad used to worship the god of agriculture when he was a rice farmer, but seeing as how the old rice farm went dry, he, he doesn't really buy all that nonsense. Okay, you see this strange goat-headed figure. Uh, for Bounty, do you worship a deity? I mean, is there a dwarven god of steel? I've, like, Mirrodin. steel and go... Yeah. Yeah, you see the, the effigy of Mirrodin, this dwarven god of war and smithing. Uh, yeah. And finally, Father Leopold. Gorhan. You see an effigy of Gorhan. As those of you who worship a deity, and you see your deity here, your, your 
covered in this basking light. Go ahead and heal yourself completely. Ooh, that sound was a very completely healed sound. Yeah. That was yep. the best sound effect ever. <laughs> Sorry, I play with also, my soundboard. <laughs> I also, personally feel healed. If you're a cleric and you have disapproval, go ahead and reset it back to the oh. default. Uh, our warrior, our dwarf, give me a will. Actually, everyone who doesn't have a deity, give me a will save. Oh, jeez. Boosh. All right, so Bye. Oak and Fen, you're an elf. All right, Waylon, you're human, you're a thief. Uh, Mornath, you're an elf. Um, did everyone else have deities? Everyone else had deities. Uh, the three of you, you stand there for a second. You get this uneasy feeling about you, and just some energy just flings you out of the room, and you go crashing into the hallway before this room. Um, each of you are going to take four points of damage from crashing into the floor in this hallway You've as you're reverse healed. magically flung out of the room. Now, did we just get some hit points back, or was that just the cleric? <laughs> that was just the people who had a deity. <laughs> oh, this is what godless sinners get! <laughs> <laughs> Think twice about that patron bond thing. Patron bond thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna say, "All right, uh, seeing as how those uh, gods in there don't particularly care for our presence here, each of you have one of these." And I'll hand out a desecrated holy symbol to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll head back into the room like. Huh. <laughs> uh, Jake, make that will save again. Oh no! <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, you're gonna get flung out anyway. I was gonna make you yeah. take a negative one die size for presenting a desecrated holy symbol, but you fail anyway. Uh, you get flung yeah. back out. Take another four points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> What a cool place the rest of us showed up to. <laughs> like I like throw the desecrated holy symbol back at him. Like you can keep that. <laughs> uh, I always knew committing violence for pay was the right thing. You uh, you all, you know, those of you who receive healing received your healing. Um, you kind of you're lost in this area. You start kind of retracing your steps. Eventually, you find the path that leads you back into the, the fire sphere. But you see a new a new opening in the wall that you didn't see before. And it looks like someone broke a section of this wall open. Um, and you don't remember seeing it before. Uh, do you want to been... explore this new opening, or do you want to head back into the fire section? Is it broken in or out? It's broken... From where you're standing, it's broken in in so there's rubble on the floor i feel like we have to go and see what's happening yeah yeah <clears throat> as this long is... as we don't rotate the thing anymore we'll be okay mm. uh you all travel through this this dirt tunnel this broken stone area and eventually it opens up into a, a the gray passage opens up to this large cavern that's filled with strange a very strange like alien jungle plants you don't recognize and the leaves are in hues that seem unnatural there's weird leafy palms monstrous mushrooms a thick mist in the air and you hear a screech of unknown birds wafting mm -hmm. through the haze the Gloomy ground gives way beneath your boots. It turns from kind of packed earth and stone into like a soft, peaty, mushy ground. So you don't sink into it, but you can feel you're walking on a very soft surface. Mm. Mm. And it's kind of like this long cavern. You lose the sight of it in the haze. Um Hey, there's a Thacko there. Lord Chalupa himself graces us. us. Uh, yeah, that's fantastic. 
uh, DM Thacko there is joining us in our Wednesday uh, Weird Frontiers uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden adventure, along with Bert, who will also be joining in this Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, what are you doing? Like, this is still wrong somehow. Now, as soon as you enter into this strange forested area, uh, let's see. Our dwarf for Bounty, you start feeling weaker than what you were before. Ugh. Our thief, you start feeling way more confident in your skill. Clerics, you feel the connection to your deity kind of fade a little bit. Uh, but our elf friends, you you know that your arcane powers have been increased in some way. You feel way more confident with them. If only I had a spell that would be useful <laughs> for later. Um, <clears throat> Mornath, how injured are you? Oh, I look about half dead. <laughs> Waylon? I'm fine. All right, I'm going to... Come close, gentlemen. I'm going to cast Comprehend Languages because that has Breath of Life attached to it. Nice. What's the... Uh, is it one up? One D up? One die size up, yeah. Uh, let me double check that. Make sure I'm not telling you the wrong numbers. Okay. One die size up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So everyone within 15 feet gets three hit points. Nice. So, look, I'm a healing wizard or a healing elf. Mm. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Man, I feel like this way isn't the way to go. But... Same. You could backtrack and head back into the fire area, or you could continue to explore this strange underground jungle. I kind of like it right now here for a minute. <laughs> feel feel pretty good. Is this what it feels like with a patron? Ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, um, don't feel like getting thrown on your keister 40 feet. So what's the plan? To look really up one more spell and then decide. Then I'll have a, I'll have a decision for myself. Look, I'm not again. I'm not a very well educated dwarf. I'm guessing this is not fire elemental sort of business going on here. My theory as well. Definitely not lots of treasure when we get out of this dungeon sort of business either. I want to just stop and listen for a moment. Sure. Do I hear any signs of life? Birds? Yeah, you hear strange Chickens. birds. You hear some rustling of these strange palms. Um, you not you're not alone. You're confident in that. Whether or not there are there's something in here that means you harm, or just you know wildlife existing. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't have any kind of locator spell to figure out where it is or where we are, so I I feel like backtracking is probably the best. That's that's Oakenfen's take. Or okay, I'd so always that's the plan. Uh, apply some second sight, but it'd be a lot more effective if we get back into the uh, the fire realm where uh, the cleric spells are boosted. footprints back to where we came from sure yeah you can backtrack yeah. and you find your way back into the the fire area and it turns from this misty cold stone back into this kind of bronze and brass hallway soot covered with licks of flame dancing on the walls could uh, try and roll that second side if we want or whatever you want to do i just need to know what you're doing Okay. Whoa. 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 That's a critical. Um, Everyone go ahead. Take a point. Hey Whoa. Nice. I don't know where to put that. Oh, I, I, I remember. <laughs> well I remember. done, Dan. I 
it's hard to say no to that. Um, yeah. I think it's gonna be the maximum effect for the spell. It's like uh, 15 it's dimensional so sight. Yeah. <laughs> Eric has read the tablets of time for the next month. He receives, <laughs> receives an ongoing sense of possible outcomes at every significant decision or juncture. Whoa. That's oh, the ins- premonition regarding the decision he must make, sense of foreboding or certitude. Let's see. For any given action, there's a 99% chance the sense is accurate. Um, so should we stay in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so Dan, mm. I guess... There's a whole lot of stuff here. It does a lot. So essentially, you just like know everything for a while. Yeah, he goes through the for quickening right before. Our yeah. Eyes. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I have the power. Apparently, I get a plus one bonus to all the rolls as well. Fuck. No kidding. Oh, I can't say that. Holy one. Oh cow. man. Right, because you see the future, so you're like, huh. ah. <laughs> that's great. So yeah, you know everything for a while with 99% accuracy, Dan. What do you want to know? Uh, how, how do we get to the fire guy and how do we get him to turn this shit off? Where are we? Go immediately, uh, roll percentile first. There's a, if you roll a one, you fail. Oh gosh. Okay. okay. That's, that's that was close. I would only expect Dan to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you step inside the brass area. You're like, what do we do? And they're just like, turn the Alembic. Wait, where were we? You you made your way back into the the brass section. No, I'm fire. asking him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> where was that place? I felt great. Uh, I felt great. You, do you want to like you know try and figure that out, Dan? Sure, why not? Roll percentile. The great hunting ground of the lion zodiac. Ooh, I'll write that down. That place is cool. Yeah, it's, it's cool and probably dangerous. Uh, so yeah, Dan, it just instructs you turn the Olympic. Okay, so we gotta go. We're in the wrong area entirely. No, stay where you are. Turn the Olympic. Oh, because oh, these side passages are controlled by the Olympic, I think, or some oh. of them are. How so do you? Can... Sorry, I'm not. I'm not up to speed on how the dungeon works. So, it the answer it gives you is turn the Olympic. Okay, so turn it clockwise one quarter okay. or something i will do the things so all of the bonuses that you all just enjoyed return to you as the fire plane now shifts back into the lion oh oh so the cleric goes null again uh whatever in the lion the clerics yeah, the clerics, you get a negative one die size to all spell checks. Oh, no. Well, I guess it's a good thing I did that earlier. Then. Yeah, I did it while you had the chance. Okay. Give me That's, just a um, second. To, yep, go ahead. I'm trying to remember what, what the die size down is. It 18? D16. 16. D16. As this gray stone hallway kind of like stone wall slides in front of you and then it slides into another of these hammer brass hallway with soot on the walls and dancing flames ah well this sounds promising yeah do you proceed i believe so yeah fantastic so no oh, wait let me let me make this in character Oh, wise and all-knowing one. Should we proceed? <laughs> Make him roll 99 times. So roll a percentile, man. What'd you get? 78? <laughs> yes, right. uh, it's, it warns you, like, the area you're about to enter into is extremely dangerous. Do not touch the skulls. Do not touch the skulls, everybody. Mm-hmm. Wait, Nerian, should I have vodka or bourbon today? Roll me a percentile. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Uh, yes, the it's answer a bourbon is yes. Day. It's a bourbon Ooh, day. Bourbon, bourbon day. day. All right, I got to go get some bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> so as you proceed into this, this area, this chamber, blackened by soot like the rest of this area, uh, with a heavy stench of scorched metal and burnt flesh, 
there's deep channels and you enter in this large circular chamber uh at the let me see here in this circular chamber if you're looking at like the 11 o'clock position on a clock face well i'm sorry you come in through like the the eight o'clock position that's where you enter into the circular chamber at the 11 o'clock 11 o'clock position there is an opening and then also at the probably four o'clock position, there's another opening. The chamber, it stinks of scorched metal, burnt flesh. There's deep channels in the floor of the circular chamber, tracing a uh, like a pentagram into the floor. Hanging in the center of this darkened chamber is a, a black void, entirely absent of light or reflection. So you're in the circular chamber, you see two other exits, these weird grooves carved into the floor making a pentagram. In the very center of this pentagram, there's just this ball of just like blackness, like you're looking at a black hole, like color and light seem to be getting sucked into it. Any sign of skulls in here that it set us in? No. Do you want to consult your magical ability? Um, let's maybe think a little more critically about it before we consult it here. Well, he's thinking about that. I crack a piece of chalk I have in my backpack in half, and I throw it in the black hole. You see it fly to the black hole and then, like, start spinning around it for a second and then just get sucked into it. Well, oh, desecrated holy symbol into it. Same thing. It's oh, terrifying. Okay. Is it, like... <laughs> pulling us strong enough that it could no I feel like I want to write put enemies here around it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, do we want to ask which way we should go or how we should proceed Or there's just the two exits the one at yeah. 11 and one at 4 yeah uh, red bullet rue whatever your name is uh, bourbon when is bourbon an option bourbon's always an option <laughs> Uh, well, he was saying he was saying you had to ask when yeah. bourbon is an option. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's an option. I just don't know how much I have of it in the fridge. I gotta go. I gotta uh, go check it out. I don't have someone to, that you can. I can text and be like, "Hey, bring me some bourbon." Yeah. Chuck. I listen. <laughs> if you were close enough, I still wouldn't bring you any bourbon. I would go <laughs> drink it myself. <laughs> <laughs> What a friend. Uh -huh. Be like, oh, I just ran out. Ah, <laughs> just remember that the next time you send a text message, Chuck, and she says, This is a no. dry household, sir. <laughs> she says, No. Oh, my God. This household has become dry. So I'm finishing this drink. <laughs> yeah. So, what's going on? Uh, it, let's see. I'll just ask it, you know, which one I we should get. Through. Did you roll a percentile? <laughs> Uh, it tells it. you the the one at the four o'clock position. Okay. Then we'll uh, make our wait. Way. What's the other way? Do you want to? I'm kidding. Let's just go that way. Okay. I don't. I when will. The get space it time continuum gives you directions. You just say yes. Yeah, you kind of just. So put... you go through the the passage at the four o'clock position. This is a great chamber. It's bisected by a steep-sided channel cut into the stone floor. The channel is alight with roaring flames, rolling down its length like liquid fire. At the end of this channel is a vast, gaping funnel. At the other end, though, is a high uh, dais, rising to an enormous throne, black with soot, stinking with brimstone. Do we still have our floating disc? Uh, I believe you're still floating on Bert's disc, yes. And is it a simple matter of just taking the disc over there? If you want to. I don't know, all-knowing one, is it? Give me a percentile. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting closer, guys. Uh, all I know is I'm still playing Titanic with Father Leopold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it gives you the hint, like, yes, approach the throne negotiate with the ruler do we have any plans on what we can negotiate with i can ask that if we want uh it uh, percentile what do we have that we can offer it 
Every coin, jewel, item worth value on your person. Or okay. a strength of test against an elemental lord. Well, I've got an a idea. A test of strength, sorry. I've got an idea. Do you? I do, as I tap on my little flask. Yeah. The flask of an infinite water. The, the flask yeah, of infinite of water. Infinite elemental water, yeah. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. That's fantastic. <laughs> You're going to be like, who's the bitch now for our elemental? Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Sorry, sorry. Naughty, naughty. Show is still PG-13. Only I can accidentally cuss on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Oops. That's fine. I lean over to Mornath and I'm like, hey, I think I found my patron near on the all knowing. <laughs> yeah, really? What other benefits he gives? <laughs> yeah. What's your patron Plus spell, Neron? Rolls. <laughs> my patron spell is I can answer any questions. <laughs> or really, wonderful. really great at who wants to be a millionaire. Mm. It's, it's going to be like invoke patron once. tacos or pizza today <laughs> <laughs> briefs or boxers yeah. oh chicken or egg oh Ooh. toilet Ooh. paper in or out oh wow oh. that depends if you have kids or not or cats yeah. Ooh, so many yeah. questions we can know the answer to now all right what's the plan well, I think we're going to take our disc for a ride and then we're going to either pour water on the spiral of mental till he gives up or I'm not sure. Okay. Approach. Drink so from the fire hose! You're Sorry. on your disc as you start to approach the, the throne. All of a sudden, it erupts in this giant plume of fire like a mushroom cloud. And setting there on the throne is this giant ifrit, this giant red genie with this smoking scimitar by its side. Um, so these horns, this gnar it's muscular. Maybe this person's 20 feet tall. Um, standing next to them is a feminine figure, but it's kind of hard to make them out because there's this giant swarm of butterflies made of living fire that just kind of circle around them. That's cool. That's cool. As the effort, the ifrit, the giant 20-foot muscular figure with a scimitar bellows out, who summons me? I have this book. <laughs> Is he red-skinned? Of course they are. They're ifrits. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have this book somewhere. It says Dungeon Master's Guide on here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> who summons me and what do you want? Speak now, mortals. We would like to not end the universe. Well said. Well said. Yeah, that sums it up, I think. Big money. Big money. Yeah. Hey, Go for that. No whammy, no whammy. Stop. <laughs> I need specifics. There's a lot of things out there trying to kill the universe. It's true. Uh, currently, the Theo, whatchamacallit's, uh, oh, mages. the theophages! Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, they've yeah. brought me here yes. to feed elemental fire into their chaos monstrosity. Wouldn't you prefer to just like, I don't know, go burn down a city instead? That could be fun too. Yeah, I heard them saying they thought you looked funny too. They're a bunch of just right buttholes. Give me, you just ignore give me them. a give me a charisma test. <laughs> oh no, there is oh. no charisma. Is there no charisma in this? <laughs> is it um, personality. personality? Personality. My bad. My what? bad. Me? Okay. I guess no, I am. Jeremy. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, uh, you got this. Oh my god. You don't got this. <laughs> oh, it's not a critical no. failure. It is it's not, not a critical, critical failure. failure. Oh. <laughs> the theophages have been dead for centuries. Do not lie to me, mortals. Hey, we killed the last one. We did. We just we there. just found one. On accident. Well, if I my senses tell me correctly, you've killed two. Oh, wait, oh, that's the right. There's one in the boom fire. Oh, oh got that other one. Yeah. Bobby Flayed. Yes, right. Bobby <laughs> Flayed and the one scribing. The ink guy. 
Yeah. So, see, we're trying to set we're trying to set the balance back to right yes. and have all the elements uh, back where they belong. In You're trying to stop range. the Alembic. You want me to stop my feet of fire yeah, into the chaos way. monstrosity. If you want to, if you want to, we we just think it's probably best for the universe. Very well, I can do this for you. Mm -hmm. But you're going to have to pay me. What's it going to cost us? Treasure. 50,000 gold worth of treasure. Like in installments? Is there interest on this? Oh, now. (laughs) Let me uh... physically carry that much. I mean, be reasonable. Or we might have Uh, something small that's valuable, perhaps. uh, Or we know where it is very nearby. The the butterfly figure kind of leans in and whispers something into the the Ifrit's ear. Ah, yes, my love, that will do. I see that you all carry considerable wealth with you, along with magical items, magical weapons. Surrender all of your wealthy goods that you have on you right now. And I'll close my my portal. Yeah, I am fond of this half piece of chalk I've got left. I, I do not you want your chalk. I want your oh. sword. Oh, Ooh, hey, hey, before you go asking something so personal. And your that, axe. I've got one thing to give to you, and it's even better than my axe. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you have? I want you to take just one sip from this flask, and you will know the finest mead the world has ever crafted, the universe has ever crafted. You know I'm going to ask for a personality test on that, right? I know you are. <laughs> Can't be as bad as the last one. <laughs> I mean, it could, but... How much luck do you have to spend? <laughs> Two. Oh, no. no. <laughs> we oh, still have probably. extra re-roll left. We do. We do, we do we have do. a re-roll we bank, do. yeah. And we have some fleeting luck, you too. You better re-roll oh, You better re-roll that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, Dice. Oh, Come on. Just yeah, one you should have a fleeting luck. Just one good roll. Man. 11. I... How, like, how, what sort of threshold are you looking for to... It was going to be kind of high. It's going to be like an 18 to lie to this dude. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I will spend all my fleeting luck, and I'll spend some of my own luck to do it. Oh. 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 Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I, right. I can enjoy mead, my friend, and he will take your bottle of oh. infinite water. <laughs> No, <laughs> just uh, bits. like, we get Two. do we get bits? Oh, three three hundred for fleeting. Jeff says, oh three. Oh, man. All right, that's fantastic, Jeff. You know, oh God, seeing Jeff. as it's almost your birthday, you're being awfully generous. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be uh, Jeff's twenty first birthday here in an hour. So, congratulations! Very exciting. Younger? Yeah. Younger? Every year. So he takes it and he up ends it and just an infinite like gush of water like a fire hose of water just drowns him (laughs) and you can see as all this water he's like i don't know what to do he's panicking he's getting smaller and smaller as the seconds go by uh i'm gonna roll a luck test (laughs) okay he eventually throws it, but he's like three feet tall now. <laughs> I, I, you, I'm leaning into Neri right now. You tricked me. We jump him? <laughs> <laughs> Roll the percentile. <laughs> it's time for initiative anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take that test of strength now. Right before, right before <laughs> initiative, I'm like, you know, you could have went to burn a city. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. What All is, right. Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. As we draw our weapons, give them the magic swords, boys. <laughs> <laughs> here they come. All right. Uh, giving just a moment here. We're gonna about. We're about to roll into initiative, but I need to find out what I'm doing. Oh, three and I'm, all. Three and oh all. All right. Being all right, down right. in dice size is gonna suck. Oh yeah, it is. Well, at least it's not for combat. Well, for spells. Why did that roll as tight? Oh, I roll. Okay. So. Yes. Think. Are you ready? Can we roll? I'm ready. Yep. Go ahead and start rolling me initiative. All right. All right. Uh, good luck on that. Bert, I want to know your initiative first, please. 12. All right. Thank you. Hey, where were you earlier? 20. 
Christopher Bounty. Okay. Christopher. I got a 14. Very nice. Dan. 13. All right. You guys aren't doing terrible. Jake. 21. Hey. Oh, wow. Good job, Ooh, you. Ooh, nice. Wow. Natural 20. Jeremy. Oh, that's another. 20. Not oh, no. dirty 20. Natural dirty 20. plus one. Did someone no. get a nat 20? When yeah, Jake did. Jake. Yeah. Everyone take a fleeting point. I don't know if you get fleeting points for that, but why the fuck not? Tyler. Oh, ooh. I usually why four... not? <laughs> four four show anyway, Chuck, why not? <laughs> We're going to need it all soon. <laughs> all right, Jake, you're up first. You you see this this three-foot tall Ifrit and then this, uh, this creature, this womanly figure surrounded in fiery butterflies. And then also the the flask of never ending water is on the floor next to the Ifrit, just pouring out water. <laughs> I hope so. I'm gonna grab the flask of water and just keep dumping it on the Ifrit. Yes. <laughs> so you run up, you grab the flask. Give me an agility test. One agility test coming up. Oh, Everyone oh, no. lose. <laughs> All no! of your fleeting luck. Wait, you should have burned your fleeting luck before. Have any more re do we? <laughs> uh, I don't think we have any rerolls banked. I think no, that was used. used a... No, for used it. No, guys. I had okay. six luck. And you have uh, no luck now. God, I got it. For Bounty, what are you brutal. doing? Well, uh, seeing as Jake's is already, he's already got his uh, Wayland's got his hands on the the flask of never ending water. I figure I'm just gonna. You know what? For for my deed, I kind of want to like just stomp my foot down on one of his tiny little feet, Absolutely. just so he's kind of in place and just kind of. Absolutely, go ahead. Cause I'm a good person. Uh, doing this, if you pass your uh, your uh, D die, I'll mm -hmm. let you disable his dexterity for his. Wonderful. Because that's you know you do you pass it. That was one right. of the first things when my cousins taught me how to fight. You step on their foot real hard. Yep. That way they can't move away. That's what you do when you're a good person. Yeah. <laughs> so your D-die pops off. Ooh, so 17. Him for like a 23 for 16 points of damage. And you give him your magic sword. God, did you yeah, that's a hit. Off? How much damage did that do? 16. Oh, wow. Wow. All right. And then while my foot's still on him, I'm going to give him another one. Sure, I, absolutely. Uh, 20 for 12. Wow. Um, Probably keep him around. Plus he's fun. <laughs> all right. Uh, that was your first two attacks. You're doing your shield bash? Of course I am. So that'd be a D14 plus 8. Okay, here we go. Got to type that one in differently. But it might still hit. 16? Yeah, that hits. Awesome. It's D4 plus 8. Okay. And are you going to roll your damage? Yes. Oh my god, 11 points from the shield bash. Wow. <laughs> He's just on the ground with me holding his foot down, just beating him in the face mercilessly. So if, we were, him. if we were playing 4th edition Dungeons & Dragons... Uh, for Bowdy, you just moved this effort into bloodied. Nice. <laughs> All right, only forty more to go. <laughs> uh, but it's now the turn of the two creatures. The Ifrit swings back at for Bowdy with this comically large sword. Uh, I'm gonna guess that doesn't clear. I rolled this Tyler, but. That does not clear your AC, I'm going to guess, for no. Bounty. The consort bursts into this, initially what you think is a ball of fire, but you can just see their, their regular form dissipates, and now it's just this giant swarm of flaming butterflies. Uh, and that's their turn. Christopher, down. what is Oakenfen going to do? I cast Sleep. Wow, okay. On the 
It's going to do the exact Pretty same sure that thing. that turned into butterfly. All the butterflies? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> am I at a bonus or am I at a regular? Um, You are in, let me check. You are in the area of the lion. I think it's one up. It's one uh, yep, you get one plus on your die size. All right, one d twenty four plus six. Ooh, I forgot for bounty. You actually would have gotten a minus one to your die size. Oh, but we'll remember that for next time. Sorry, everyone. Who's getting the the two die size benefit here? Uh, who's getting the two die size? Benefits? I don't think anyone does. Uh, thieves plus two to disarm oh. and find traps. Okay. Um, I'm gonna cast sleep. That's a thirteen. I can't sleep. We don't have any luck. No, you do not. Um, <clears throat> let me see what thirteen says. No, I do want to warn you that you're you're kind of you know. Entangled with an elemental lord. Me? Yeah, you. Am I? You're the one that the water or air elemental likes. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> so the sleep says uh, one target within range must make it save or fall asleep for 1d6 oh, hey. turns. I didn't see it. Liching Hour, thanks for that raid. That's fantastic. Sweet. Welcome to the hey. place where we're doing the thing. 20! Holy cow! Ooh, that's fantastic. Nice. Come help us with this uh, fire elemental, because we might need it. They can uh, throw so bits at the chat to increase your chances. They've got to uh, make a... Uh, it's got to make a will save. Okay, what's its target number? 13, like my spell. And, and you're then... going against the creature with all the butterflies? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, oh. right hey, we all get fleeting luck. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's uh, no, darn. <laughs> well, all right, what's going on? So, uh, you cast a spell, you fail, <coughs> turn passes to Tyler. Tyler, what is Father Leopold doing? Um. Let's see. I'm not feeling great spell wise. Am oh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Banish. All right. What do I? Gotta... Oh, I rolled the wrong die size. Dang it! Hold on. Uh oh. All right. Roll it again. The D16. Uh, down one die size would be D16. Yeah. I'm gonna try banish. Uh, I doubt it's gonna go well, but. Ooh. Mm -mm. Yeah. No. Oh, I think that's just straight a failure. Yeah, that's a straight failure. I have a second action, a D14 action. Okay. Because I leveled up. And I'm going to move up and try to hit the butterflies. Sure thing. With my magical warhammer. No. No. 7 AC doesn't hit, does it? Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up is Dan. Dan. What is uh, Nerian doing? I think, um, boy, since magic's not so great right now, I'll just try and hit the, uh, the fire elemental and see if we can just knock him down. The little Cut my foot on him. Or the butterfly swarm. The the one with the the foot down. Okay. Yep. The twenty three is a hit. That's a great hit. Six damage. Um, that is not wonderful damage, but I'll take it. You know, you do what you do. Okay. Uh, do you got you multiple gotta... actions? Or no? Uh, I'm level four, so I don't think so. Bert? What's more nasty? All right. <coughs> it's, it's go time. I as well... <coughs> Excuse me. I as well am casting sleep, but I'm going to spell burn ten points. Oh, wow. Oh, my. <laughs> so as I start casting this spell, I just erupt in blood out of my nose, <laughs> eyes, and ears. <laughs> blow out my kneecaps <laughs> <laughs> sciatica exo yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> 22 oh, wow. okay. so, all right give me a second because i'm probably going to burn luck too oh, uh, i mean he's got a 40 percent chance currently 
to uh, we're all out of any kind of extra luck right we rolled poorly yeah, yeah. sorry about that yep well jake's fault that's why it's yep. bleeding yeah comes and goes I know I spent all mine to get a demon to drink a water flask. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> worth it. It was worth it. Oh, yeah. it. oh yeah. I think it was still valuable. It's like move of the session, I think. Right okay, there. so there there are what two creatures that we're having to contend with. Yeah, yes. the demon and the the, the, the butterfly storm swarm, and stuff, right? Yeah. All right. I am going to burn uh <laughs> essentially all my remaining luck. Oh wow. Okay. Um and I can place a single target into a supernatural ongoing endless sleep with no saving throw. Wow. Which one I are you going for? The demon lord. Okay. This little ifrit just falls asleep. Right. So uh, it cannot be interrupted by any means except for one specified interrupt condition um, that I specify. What's your condition? He has to be spanked on the bottom while being told he's a naughty boy. (laughs) (laughs) As the demon lord. Chances are pretty low. Imagine being an elemental. (laughs) As this this fire lord falls asleep with that, um, the this butterfly swarm starts to dim. Oh, good. Uh, turn then bounces back up to Jake. Um. Oh, I am so hurting. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess uh, since the effort's asleep and there's no way it's waking up, I guess I'll just pour water on it. Nice. Sure. I'll call it a coup de gras, and you drown the ifrit, <laughs> slaying it as soon as the ifrit is slain. The butterfly swarm dissipates. Uh, all that remains is this scimitar, this giant fiery scimitar. Um, and the the heat of this area dies down. And you get the sense that you have stopped the fire stream into the, uh, the maelstrom of chaos. Well, after all that, I'd hope so. I think we did it, everybody. Somehow. No laying on the ground, coughing up blood. <laughs> I'm waiting to hear the whole place like start shaking like the the summoning has occurred. Yep. I'm just so, gonna I'm gonna put the stupper back in the flask there. Sure. <laughs> you you know, you got a couple inches of water on the ground now. You stop the water flow. How bad off is Bert? Um, all my physical stats Very. are down to five, so I'm minus two at all my physical stats. I have no luck left. Ooh, I still have 27 carry. hit points, oddly enough. <laughs> well, that's something. <laughs> we're like each allowed a, a chance of lay on hands or something, or uh, not unless you have a particular spell because this was spell burned. So, yep, you know, who's the clerics uh, have one, but other yeah. than that. Very specifically, restore vitality can. Yeah, uh, but vitality. you're not supposed to. Like the yep. the the description says, I'm good. <laughs> it's okay. I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> so who's going to take this giant scimitar that's left behind? I yoink. <laughs> feel like our the dwarf or thief, whoever can use it. Yeah. I mean, uh, wait and put him down. And for for what it's worth. <clears throat> Taking a man out while he's down. That's the kind of bastard I can respect there, Waylon. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. If everyone checks the item page, the little suitcase, there's going to be a new item there listed as Prince's Claw. You can see the stats of the scimitar. Bad. Ooh, Not backstab bad. damage. Ooh, it's got backstab damage? Ooh, what? actually, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it's got backstab damage, but the backstab is not checked, so... Um, also, uh, you're going to see for the, the flames, the butterflies were a, uh, uh, what is it? Diadem, diadem, the di- little diadem. crown. Yeah. The little crown, uh, drops out of that as well. And you should be able to see that as well. It's got the oh. same text as the, did I mess uh, that up? Princess claw. Oh my God. Uh-huh. Plus three to hit and plus three damage. Mm-hmm. I think so. Oh, yeah, man. Look, at that, look at the text at the bottom though. Yeah, yeah. for the Princess Claw, yeah, gold pieces a week. 
yeah, I'm not mm. feeling happy about this thing at all. And for another thing, I can't even hold the dang thing. Well, it's so. either that or get rid of all magical items. So uh, yeah, either it way, it shrinks that's... down to your to normal size. Well, I still need a uh, 15 or greater strength to wield it. Mm. Well, I can't wield it. Um, I can't. Yeah, wield it. my devil can. As for Bowdy, have 15 strength. You might be the only one. I do, but you mean do you want me to not use my shield here? I mean, that's mm-hmm. just. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, you could you get plus three AC with this sword. <laughs> you maybe don't. Oh, was it AC too? I missed that part. Yeah, you get. Like plus I could have twenty three AC. AC. So shield. yeah, don't shield bash though. You've stopped the flow of chaos. You've stopped all of the elemental energy. There's just one thing left to do. Yeah, no, I don't like compulsion sort of things. No, thank you. Oh, I kind of want that. Oh, I kind of want the, oh, the tiara. <laughs> Look, I've got enough jealous such and such is in my life. I don't need another one. I'll tell you what, I'll match you for the crown. Since I can't, you know, I can't take the sword, I'll match you for the crown. Uh, rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Oh, shambo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now what we're going to do it. One, two, three, uh. throw. So right. like one, two, three, throw. Right. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Rock, paper. All right. All right. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, throw. All right. Rock, paper, scissors, throw. What are ah. you doing? This is this is top tier. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> you don't see a lot of this in DCC. <laughs> <laughs> Decisions made. Oh, uh, this could be the end of me. If if I were if I had one more point of strength, I'd take that sword. Ooh! Somebody's got to mm. roll that damage. Chuck, what? Roll three d twelve plus three, plus wasn't three? it? What are we doing? He's, He's putting, putting on, on the crown. crown. He even had a crown. A diadem. That's rather convenient. Yeah, well, you know. I have a nicer one actually, so I'm just it's just around the corner. Twenty one. I don't even know. Would well, explain to the channel what the diadem does. Uh-huh. Uh the diadem uh and oh there's a veil. Apparently there's a veil. Radiate searing heat. When handled, they shrink to the size of the would-be wearer. Any character taking up the diadem is engulfed in flames for three D twelve plus three damage. DC twenty fort save for half. Nope. Um if the PC survives the test thereafter, the character can handle the diadem freely. Uh, and you rolled 21, and you'll take a stab at how many hit points I had. I roll, what, what am I rolling? <laughs> and 22. Oh, you already rolled it. <laughs> you did. You oh, rolled that's it. right. I was rolling something else, but fine. We'll call that there. 22. The 3d12 no. plus. You rolled 3d12 plus 3, which was the damage I took. Ah! And I have one hit point left, but I called it. Nice. I'll heal nope. him back up. You know, thinking about it further, I should have asked you if any of them should have been touching this stuff. <laughs> Three. Yeah, right. Three to AC and reflex saves. Ooh. Never mind. I'm not going to heal you back up. Actually, that might be. Yeah, no, that's a straight failure. And renders me immune to fire or heat damage. Mm-hmm. Boy, and I can cast fireball once per day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. <laughs> Well, we're going to use that soon. Powerfully sensitive to cold, suffering minus 1D to saving throws against cold mm-hmm. effects, and taking plus 1 damage from the same. Diadem of Flame. All right. If I only had one more point of strength, I'd take that sword. I'd go to, got to go to arm day again here. Get my strength up. <laughs> All right. So what's going on next? Well, I, I could brew a potion that would give you that strength, but it would take a... Uh take at least an hour (laughs) to do i mean maybe we can do that on our way back i also make healing potions as a matter of fact nice nice (laughs) oh i mean it's a magic sword i'll just tie a rope around it i'll tie tie my uh why do i have a chain that's weird i'll tie a 10 foot chain around it and then i'll just drag the sword around it's a magic sword. It'll be fine. Well, here's the thing. You know, so long as the world doesn't end, consider it yours, you know. I'll probably sell it. 
I'll probably sell it to him. Who? Who? Oh, uh, the all-knowing one. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. You know, once once you you know get a chance to you give him a strength potion, he can carry it. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. There's no way I can make the DC for the giant strength potion. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll just drag it around on a chain for a while. Uh, look, I I read the flavor text, and I've already had three jealous masters before. I don't need another one. <laughs> I, I'm gonna cast a spell. Sure. <laughs> Comprehend most languages. Dangerous words. Oh, yes. The four most dangerous. I cast a spell. Uh, well, cool. I can read some languages, but the more important thing is me and everyone within 15 feet. <laughs> one, one hit point. I might have to cast a spell again. I only have two hit points now. <laughs> it was a real gamble. Um, I, I can try and lay hands on you yet. I haven't taken a whack at it. Lay your hands it. on me. Let me uncompress my sheet that got all awkward and narrow for some reason. Lay your hands on me. Let's see, let's see. Um. Oh, it's gonna be down to dice size, so I gotta roll my hand. And I am neutral. Oh, good. Well, I am too. So there you go. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully, sixteen uh, is not bad. Um, that'll get you uh, three dice, three hit dice. Three dice. Um, what is my hit die? D eight. I'll look it up. Three. You said three. Yeah. Three of them. Yep. Uh, D6, 3D6. Wow, 13. Yeah, that's not bad. You know, all right. I mean, I'm good. 15 of 23. I can I can roll with that for a while. I am at an AC 16 now because of this. Yeah. Nice. All right. So what's the plan? I think we're going to go fight evil. <laughs> cool. <laughs> As you all move back out of the the Alembic, you have to rotate it once to get back into it. We don't need to track that now. Not necessarily, because we're coming up on the boss fight. As you enter into the center area, the chaos below erupts up out of the nothingness into this partially formed dragon. Like it's missing bits of flesh, skin, you can see bone comprised of this strange glowing structure. Um, and yeah, we're at, at, at initiative. Um, everyone roll initiative. I'll plug it in. That's what I've been working on here for the past few moments. Oh, okay. Getting that shit going. Okay. Oh, good. I did it. I did it, everybody. Do you want me oh. to roll for the air elemental or? I already got, got it. it. I already got, yeah, it. got it. Okay. Bert, what did you get? An 18. Nice. No, no. <laughs> Christopher. Um, seven. <laughs> okay. Dan. One. Jake. A non-natural Twelve. one, at least. Yeah, dirty one's better than a regular one. Jeremy. Sixteen. All right. Tyler. Ten. Okay. <clears throat> As we begin combat, this dragon leaps out and looks at all of you and just releases this gout of fiery chaos from its mouth. Um, uh, everyone needs to make me a 13 reflex save. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. God bless oh. Ed. You know what? I'm going to spend one of my uh, natural points of luck on that. Okay. Uh, mm. Those of you that fail, and it, I'm still rolling as Tyler. Who knows why? Those of you that fail take seven points of damage. Mine's actually too lower, Chuck, but it still passes. It's okay. it doesn't auto cal <clears throat> auto recalculate recalculate your reflex fortitude and will saves. Okay. Uh, so yeah, those of you who fail take seven. Those of you who su uh, succeed take three. As this thing just unleashes this gout of fiery green energy at you, um, then it whips its tail at. Uh, we're going to call that one, two, three, four, five. Mornath. 
course. Of course. <laughs> Do they get a reflex save? Uh, this, this is going to be an attack versus AC. Ooh, okay. 13. Oh, misses. 16 AC. Very cool. All right. Nice. Uh, then it is going to take a claw attack against for Bowdy. Uh, for Bowdy, you need to make me a 13 reflex save. Uh, I'm sorry. I am incorrect on that. I'm getting confused. That's going to be a 19 versus AC. Miss, <laughs> thanks to the Wolf King Whoa, cloak. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, oh. So at Fire Breathe, it did a Tail Whip. It did a Claw Attack. It's got one Claw Attack left. Uh, that's going to be against uh, Oakenfen. Yes. 25 to hit. Miss. No, I'm kidding. Totally, totally crush it. I only have a 16. 23 damage. I'm dead. Okay, Oaken finished. Oh. Oh. Oaken no! I just got this cool crown. For Bounty, you are... Uh, no, I'm sorry, not for Bounty. Uh, more now. 23 you're up. damage. One air oh, crap. Okay, well, um, worked before. Uh, sleep. <laughs> sure. And I'm spell burning again. I don't blame oh, no. you. Or go spell burning again. Oh, geez. How low can I possibly go? Let's see. You have to have at least one point. Otherwise, you yeah, are yeah, three dead. in some yeah. of them. Uh, and you can only spell burn physical. So, what does that leave me? Two, four, six, seven. So, 14. Uh, no modifications in the area we're in? Nope. This is the area center area. So, it's all neutral. Uh, well, it still succeeds. It's not as good as I hoped. So 18 on sleep gives me, well, they're going to, they do get to make a save on this one. Um, yeah. So uh, just has to make a DC 18 save. Uh, Fort will or reflex? Uh, will. Okay. They fail. Yes! They fail. <laughs> The They're chaos asleep for a dragon. D four hours. Oh wow! Roll that D four. Three hours. Okay. What wakes them up? Okay, now this is normal sleep, so it says can be awakened through normal means. Okay. So for three hours, this thing is asleep. Next up is for Bounty. You. <laughs> For Bounty, I'm going to let you make a critical attack against this thing because it's asleep. So, it, what's that? But is there a chance we could, like, because is Zokenfen, like, dead, dead? Or if we have somebody heal him, like, right now since we're, like, level five? Well, you're level five. You got five rounds to heal Oakenfen. Yep, and then he still has a roll the body check, too. Then you have a roll the body check. <laughs> So I I want to attack him right now, but at the same time, well, we got we've three got, hours. <laughs> if we've got hours, I I've been around the block a little bit. Let's let the party get itself in a better position, okay. heal ourselves up. We got a couple hours. So you you pass on your turn because there is an NPC here that is going to act. Oh, oh, that's right. Probably no matter what. Although okay. maybe it gets a critical hit instead. Which be, could be way better. Oh, if there's somebody else in the room, I could have done this up to three targets. The air well, elemental. The air it's elemental. just the air elemental. Oh, yeah. No, But you know what? If somebody should get a free critical hit, let's let the air elemental that's way tougher than me yeah. get the critical. Vent its spleen. <laughs> and has been jailed for yeah. who knows how maybe long. Maybe one of yeah. us gets an opportunity to heal him before it goes. Okay, so for Bounty, are you passing your turn? I'm passing my turn. Uh, Jake, <laughs> what is uh, Waylon doing? Um, well, he's going to watch it fall asleep, and then he's just going to kind of look around like... And that'll be it. That That's all he's going to do. Okay. Uh, the error elemental turns comes up. Oh, uh, okay. Seeing as this thing is asleep, it is going to use its freezing gust ability. It freezes the dragon solid <gasps> for three rounds. For uh, 
Okay. Um, and it also is going to deal some stamina damage to the dragon. Delightful. Thirteen Just run away and let them fight dragon. it out. Okay, that's not enough to take it out. But now the dragon is officially frozen for three rounds. It's awake, but it's frozen solid. Tyler, what's Father Father Leopold doing? Would I think that this creature is from a foreign plane? Yeah. I'm going to try to banish it. Sure, go ahead and roll it. It's still going to get a save against this. And I will luck burn five points of luck if I have to. Sure. 20. I think that'll, that'll make it a 20. Okay. Uh, what's the save? Um, Willpower? Will or be forced back to its place of origin. Yep. Oh, ah, jeez. Dang. That would have been cool. Uh, do you got any other actions? Um... I have a D14 action. Let me just do a sec. Um, yeah, I don't really want to do combat with my D14 action. Can I lay on hands with a D14 action, or is that two spells in the turn and I can't No, do you can, an action's an action, so cast your, your lay on hands. Just All use right, a D14 die for it. I'll lay on hands onto our um, dearly okay, departed elf. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna lay on hands. Okay. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Oakenfen, this is your first round. Yes. Uh, Narian, what are you doing? Uh, seeing as we had bad luck in the first round, I'll try lay on hands. <laughs> see if I have any better luck. Um, and that's actually a twenty because of my uh, second sight. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Um, so that's four dice. Four d six. <laughs> it, 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 back alive at least his eyes flitter open and he's like I saw a light it looked like Narian <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> this is correct the enlightened one has brought you, you back you saved me you are my patron <laughs> oh no for one month <laughs> and then the rent expires <laughs> Uh, give me just a second. How much? What did you do again? Uh, Christopher healed up. He laid on hands, and I got eleven hit points. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, we move back up to the top of the turn. The dragon is frozen. That is the end of the first round. It's just frozen for two more rounds. Burnt. <clears throat> what is Mornath going to do? I'm going to sleep it again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I can't spell burn anything, but uh, maybe we get maybe it'll give us some more on. time. Oh, that's oh, wow. actually a better 21. result. What does it need to make? Wow. Is it, uh, Will save? Yeah, will save, although he might not get a save with a 21. Give me just a second. Sorry. Okay. okay. Uh, I mean, if somebody gets a free crit hit on him again, I mean, that's worth something. No, they do get to save. Okay. Okay. But this time, if he doesn't save, let's find out. And is this a will save? It's a will save. Yep. Ah, oh, shoot. That sucks. This one was so a close. magical sleep. He would not have woken up. Oh, that would have been a game over. Do you got yeah. anything you could burn on that? I am out of luck. I've got oh, nothing. Uh, burn yourself to death. If well, you that's luck. true. I could, I, could, I could kill myself, but you have to burn before you roll. So, yeah. can't do you have, it. How much okay. luck do you have left? None. Zero. Zero. Oh, my. <laughs> I'm tapped out. For Bounty. 200 bits away. At one point, well, <laughs> well, two points. Can I hope that maybe it was in the middle of a snarl or something, so that its mouth was at least partially open? That sounds like a deed die uh, question. It is a <laughs> deed die question because what I love to do is I'm <laughs> hacking and slashing as I jump down into it. I like to hack a, some of its teeth 
down into its throat so that if it does wake up when it tries to breathe fire, it's choking on its own teeth. I right love that. Please roll me your D9. I mean, oh, that no, cast a dude. fireball at it, so. The endless decanter of water, just drown him. <laughs> Get a firebolt. Up. I've got firebolt. another action. But yes, I love that too. Your D die pops off, yeah. So go in hacking and slashing, trying to chop his own teeth off to make him choke on him. Uh, what is that? Seventeen plus five. Yep. That's yeah. You get it. You deal nine points of damage. And then I agree. So yeah, I go chopping a bunch of his own teeth off and in. Yeah. And as they do that, like he's already got all his own teeth lodged in his own throat, and he's frozen with supernatural ice. Yeah. yeah. Endless decanter of water just down in there over that ice, just trying to. Oh, this is beautiful. You pop the cork, you shove it down in its throat. You're just pouring water in there, freezing its throat solid. Yeah, we're good people. Good people. <laughs> uh, any other weird. actions? That was two actions, right? You got your shield bash. Or no, you got... I mean, if you'd allow it to me, I, I would have even given it up to have poured the water down there, but... Uh... I can, I'll listen, listen, I'll let you take that D14 and pour more, more water down there. Oh, oh, you're good. I just, I, I've got the, I've got the decanter in there and I'm just bashing it with the shield. Like, tum, 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 tum. <laughs> Waylon, what are you going to do? Um, ah, uh, geez. Well, I mean, since it's frozen, uh, I guess I'll just come up behind it and, Stab it in the back with a dagger. Sure. Give me your attack. All right. Oh, Rick. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, uh, that's going to hit 16 Ooh. on the thief's table. What table is that? Uh, the thief's table. The critical hit uh, table oh. for thieves. Uh, critical two? hit table is uh, table two. Yeah. Yep. 16. You permanently blind the creature in one eye, and it can take no action for 1d3 rounds. Give me a d3. He stabbed in the back so hard you detached his retina. You did. <laughs> Apparently so. Two. It's frozen for two more rounds. It is blind for two more rounds. So that doesn't actually do anything. But It was still fun. <laughs> seven points of damage. That's nothing to shake a stick about. All right. The air elemental moves in again. <clears throat> it uh, it freezes it for another three rounds. <laughs> All right. Good choice, us, on bringing the air elemental with us. And deals six points of stamina damage. That's not enough to finish it off. It's got plenty of stamina. Hmm. So I think now that I see an endless loop here. Yeah. No, it, it, it will come to an end. We, <laughs> we I cast fireball. Sure I cast fireball. Don't take it away from me. Uh, Tyler, you're up. <laughs> Got one spell I've been wanting to use this whole time. Uh, I just need to fireball. <laughs> I will not deprive you of that. Tyler, what is Father Leopold doing? Um, Father Leopold has had his fair share of this chicanery. Uh, he's going to go make sure that our elf is fully healed. Sure. Give me your lay on hands. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm the worst cleric today. I, I am an atheist heathen, today. so <laughs> it <laughs> makes sense. Oh, <laughs> hey there. Is. All important. <laughs> You're the dude yeah. who got the on Whoa. Your side. Yeah. Fabled what? 42, thanks for that raid. That's fantastic. Wow. We're doing a sneak peek of uh, DCC 100, the music of the series is Chaos, not due out from Goodman Games until mid-2021, so you got a handful of months. So please enjoy as we wrap up this adventure. We're in the final boss fight. Um, so what just happened, Tyler? Did you heal? No, I sure didn't, because I'm terrible. I'm the no, worst I'm player. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Finn. You got a fireball. Don't melt the ice. I have a fireball. Put it down its mouth. 1d24 plus caster level. Wow. Here's the... Oh, I gotta roll that. I gotta put that in. Is it 
forward slash r one d twenty four plus five forward slash r space. There you go. Oh, oh, oh my god! My goodness, <laughs> what's it gonna do? Oh uh, wait, I want to see if I want to burn some three of three. Each kit spray can target the initial target of the two additional targets. Uh, uh, each mini fireball does one d six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I could do twelve d six if I burn a little luck, or I could just take the result and do sixty six guaranteed. What are you going to do? Sounds pretty fun, but twelve d six uh, does do the twelve d six. I'm going to burn the luck. I'm yeah, going to burn the luck. What happens? <laughs> Roll that twelve d six. Burn. I'm burning my personal luck here, and then it's uh. There are three sprays of 1d3 plus one. So well, 1d3 plus one. First spray, three, two, six, seven, eight d6 of mini fireballs. <laughs> Give me that eight d6 then. Like he just sits up and he's like, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> 36 points of fire damage. Yes. That is too above lethal. Oh, wow. yes! <laughs> the Chaos wow. Dragon is slain. He just sits up like the Undertaker. Let's see how you like it. Bam! <laughs> the air, air Elemental thanks you for freeing it and allowing it to set this right. The... Alembic starts crumbling around you. You all run and escape. We don't need to go through this. Um, essentially, well, it comes and escape. hobble and escape. <laughs> essentially, it comes to congratulations. You all have stopped the Grand Alembic. You have completed this adventure. You have thirty years to steal the five dwarven gems from the <laughs> el uh, elemental plane of water and return it to the uh, elemental plane of fire. Yeah, or well, I don't because I no, elemental my plane of I earth. Made it, promise. Yeah. Jeff says, "Wait." Wait. Yes, Jeff. All right. I, I jumped know. in its mouth for you, Jeff. I don't know what else to do. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to roll the roll I was going to make because I just needed to know. You, it was, I was, it was gonna 19 is not bad. How? Oh, you I was going to boost that up and I was going to do binding on it and just. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Under my control. <laughs> that would have been awesome. So, uh, and I'm calling that with Fireball's that. Way better. Fireball's with that, better. we have completed the music of the Spheres is Chaos. Um, congratulations, everyone. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, people watching, we're going to go through and do our sign-offs. Oh, a heavy fault rock falls on. Yeah, Jeremy, your character dies. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, we're all sad, but we're not. <laughs> you deserved it. Oh, come on, that's um, got to cost you know, my wives, I hated them. Two bits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone else other than me died. Put he the flask of water. Oh. Yeah. So, everyone, you're watching Goodman Games Official. Please give a follow, give a like. Uh, also, we're about to do a round of sign-offs, so you can find where you can, you know, catch us all personally. I'm Chuck, HBIC over Defenders of Cobalt, twitch.tv slash Defenders of Cobalt. Also, you can go through, go to Drive Through RPG and search for Defenders of Cobalt. We have three zines out right now. They're the best zines you're ever going to read. Please check them out, buy them, read them. It's great. Uh, then let's see, uh, Bert. Where can they find you? Uh, my podcast is at BlueMagic.com. B L U M A G I K. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder, uh, and occasionally on the Notorious DMG. There we go. Uh, Christopher, where can they find you at? On Twitch, you can find me at all the RPGs. Otherwise, you can find uh, Two Old Guys Games Adventures at 2OGGames.com, the Goodman Games official store, and Drive Through RPG. There you go. Very cool. And Jeremy? I mean, I hang out with these guys all the time. And then also, there's a podcast called The Plutecast, P L E W D. Nerds talking about comics. Why not? There you go. Um, yeah, that's. Uh... Wait, I, I have one tiny thing. Please go ahead. I sit up and I was like, whew, that was a heck of a battle. And I look and uh, Farbauti is like, yeah, Dwarven, time to drink. And he pops open the, that this is how he dies. <laughs> <laughs> he pops open the flask and water smashes him and he falls off the edge. We're all like, no. 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> but we save the flask. We just don't save him. <laughs> yeah. So uh, for some more of that Defenders of Cobalt goodness, well, first off, I want to throw out there this Tuesday, swing over to Birch Channel, Steam Steel Murder, twitch.tv slash Steam Steel Murder, first edition AD&D. I will be there playing the uh, Dwarven Cleric Viet. Uh, swing by Wednesday, Defenders of Cobalt, twitch.tv slash Defenders of Cobalt. We are running Rime of the Frostbane, but we're using the uh, formerly Dark Trails, now Weird Frontiers. Uh, we're running as that as a Weird West setting. Uh, you can catch Bert, uh, Jeremy, Dan. Jake, are you in that? I am. Jake's in that. Yeah. Olynthian. Olynthian, that's right. Yes. Catch yeah. us there. Uh, Friday night, we'll be on Defenders of Cobalt for our evil 5th edition campaign. Uh, and then next Saturday, 1 p.m. Central, you can find us on uh, Free League Publishing. Um, exciting stuff. Um, I don't know. Do we have anything else we need to plug? I don't think so. Pludcast. We did all the things. Steam Steel find Murder. Me, find me here on thursday this coming thursday go. i'm in x crawl live right here on there Game games official X-Crawl. with uh, that's a sneak and a bunch of other peek people. too isn't it is that, that is a... yeah yeah there yeah. we go okay x crawl looks super cool yeah yeah so yeah you've been watching danger strangers that's our every other saturday night show coming up in two weeks from well i guess from yes oh no it's still saturday at least for me it's still saturday coming up in two weeks on danger strangers we're also going to be previewing uh, the MCC brand new adventure. It's not out yet. Omnivary of Eden. So if you want to see more cool upcoming stuff by Goodman Games, uh, tune in. Two weeks. Danger Six Strangers. Uh, that's all I got. I don't know. I'm uh, more than a little drunk right now. So I'm uh, my thought train <laughs> is all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, our players here, we're going to sign off, but... Uh, this is still kind of in the playtest mode, so we're going to do ourselves a little conversation about what we thought of this module, what we think we could do to make it better, uh, to improve the final product when it's finally in the Goodman Games store and you can buy it and get a copy of your hand, a uh, copy of it in your hand. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I can't do my regular sign off because this is a PG-13 stream and my regular sign off is slightly above that. So thanks for watching everyone. Uh, make sure you wear a mask, you wash your hands, stay safe, buy Goodman Games stuff. It's a great game. Uh, and then also, if you, uh, I don't know, check us out. Defenders of Cobalt, all the RPGs, Steam Steel Murder, Pludcast. It's great. We'll catch you all later. Stay uh, illuminated, stay stimulated, and support your local businesses. Yeah, and yeah. do drugs. Catch you all later. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>